property. Because okay. right. you in know the how, style of Games Workshop, got it. In the style of Games Workshop, because you know, if you that's don't, how you make that's how you make character cakes when you don't have the licensed stuff like the grocery stores do. You're like, it's in the style of Ariel, mm -hmm. uh, even though you like printed off a picture of Ariel and stuck it to the cake. Well, you're you're giving out trade secrets. We're officially live right now. Whatever, trade secrets are great. Oops, probably put my phone on vibrate. Mm. If you're making character cakes like Ariel, just say it's in the style of Ariel and like make her eyes in different directions. There you go. Done. Gasp. Pro tip. Well, okay. So here is the deal. For anybody who is uh, joining us right now for the very first time, this is not going to be a starting screw, starting soon screen forever. This is just a uh, very first time on. YouTube live officially, so we're gonna move over to the studio. Hey, Hello. All right. Hey. Gotta do math. So, uh. this is our very, very first live session for Dark Heresy. We're gonna be playing Warhammer 40k Heresy. It is a tabletop RPG. It's a lot of fun. You take books like these, use your imagination, and then, you know, it, it's basically Dungeons and Dragons in space, but like super duper space, because um, space. Warhammer 40k don't play. I am joined today by several people in our Discord. We have met through my stream that um, I do Monday through, hello Caldwell, hello, all. Oh. And uh, that is generous. This is a this is the morning look, not very chic. And the um, yeah, we we're gonna be going through a, a session that I've written, and there's gonna be a lot of home rules. And to any diehard uh, 40k fans out there, I also love 40k, but you know you gotta stretch some of the reality of that world to meet the reality of the real world. So there are gonna be some. Bent truths as we continue. So, with that in mind, we're going to be going over to... Oh, and I should say, again, as our very first time ever live in an official capacity, there will be problems. There are going to be some problems. And we'll, um, you know, we'll deal with that as we go. This is our very first, so we're going to be doing a lot of character creation. And um, we'll be joined by a couple more people as they rouse or get off work or whatever, and so if you hear some new voices just a little bit, well, that's what's going on. So we're going to move over now from my studio, where we have our chat here, and we'll probably end up putting something like this on the screen in the future for this, but again, first time, we have a lot of ground to cover, so we're going to get going, and yeah, I think that's, I think that's kind of it. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so we have this right here, and we're probably that'll work a little better. And uh, this Swap. is our. I'll tell you what, actually. How about some snow? Do you guys want some snow during all this? Some gentle snow from last night? No. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're doing character creation, and the very first thing that we're going to be doing is talking about the real, 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 real basics. I have a hard copy here, but I also have the screen on, so that way anybody watching can actually see a little bit more about what's, what's going on. And I'm going to try and adjust this chat so I can see you guys. I want to make sure that Are I you catch this. So we have today... <laughs> uh, in our little group, it's it is it five of us right now? And then we'll have a couple more later. Yeah, Pilar is gonna be late because her job closes at noon. Mm hmm Is Roland joining us? Um, I'm not sure. Let me text him. Okay. I mean it's good, but Okay. So yeah, you guys he doesn't need <laughs> help creating an creating a character, but I'll no, text no. him and see. He'll be fine. 
So the very first thing I want to do is choose a... Uh, okay, well, I guess that's not the very first thing. We do have our generic characteristics. So these are how you generate them. We have our weapon skill. We have ballistic skill, strength, toughness, agility, intelligence. And these are used for kind of what you think that they are. The only thing I think is probably a little... A little not straightforward is that the weapon skill is your melee weapon it does say hand to hand here but if you're just kind of if you're just kind of like going off of common sense that one might not be as as straightforward ballistic skill is of course your ballistic like your ranged weapons even though for the most part lasers aren't ballistics so that's just kind of silly but that's think of that as your ranged that's your ranged ability for things like your melee weapons, when you attack with a melee weapon, you end up adding your strength modifier to it. A strength modifier is, let's say your strength is 45, your strength modifier would then be 40, or 4, I should say, 4. This is the tens place. So, as you, <clears throat> as you think about these things, keep, keep those little things in mind. So, if later you're like, ah, I'm going to be a... a a melee weapon build, I don't need strength. Well, you might, because if you're doing a melee attack, you're going to be adding strength to that. And if you're doing an intelligence check, if you're choosing between two numbers, keep in mind what a modifier is. You get it. So, Fellowship, that's going to be your charisma. This is your, this is your communication stat. This is how you talk to people, and this is where a lot of that comes from. So, this is your... your deception check if you have an intimidation check i believe it's your fellowship with a strength modifier depending anyway willpower is going to be a lot of the warhammer 40k world is is terrifying it's terrifying some days just to get out of bed in the morning you need an incredible amount of willpower and then if you have to go fight a, a, a demon prince later that day, it needs an enormous amount of willpower. The intelligence is separated from that. Think of it like book smarts and versus street smarts. I don't even know what you'd call it, I guess. Intuition. And the as far as checks go, your perception, pretty straightforward. Your toughness is effectively your health. It's your physical durability, your endurance. So if you're drinking, like drinking alcohol or rot gut or whatever they have here, this is the stat that you roll when finding out how pissed drunk you are. So that's important, but... And we're going to roll for each of those, so you'll see here that as we go through, uh, these are all kind of strength checks, right? So if we say something like, oh, it's going to be a... Yeah, I mean, and this is... Really, we're going to be homebrewing a lot of this because this is just really... <laughs> a lot of this is not overthought necessarily, but a lot of it is just not... It doesn't work in practice. One, one example is if you're at the end of a campaign, you might have 56 intelligence well that's pretty cool but what that means is that when you roll something you have just barely over a 50 percent chance to succeed and mm -hmm. if there's a difficulty attached to that like there's some kind of a i don't know some kind of a, a malware that you have to get around that's going to increase the difficulty of the check which means you probably have like a 40% chance to succeed. Hmm. All right. And, uh, and so that's, that's something to keep in mind. And so we're going to be, we're going to be kind of adjusting some of these things. So for this, this is probably the best thing to keep in mind. You are from a hive world. Each of you are from a hive world, which means that this category right here, when you're rolling these here, because it's two D 10, plus 20, okay? So 2d10, so you roll 2d10, which you can even roll your hundreds die because it's going to be 
effectively the same. So it's going to be like I just rolled a 47. Ooh, that's 47. And we're adding 20. And so my weapon skill would then be 47. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, it's totally wrong. I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking at the numbers forty-seven, and I'm like, "What the fuck did I just say?" No, it's it's a. Uh, um, that's I guess the difficulty of using a hundred die. No, this is going to be four and seven, so it's eleven, and then we have twenty, so it's going to be thirty-one. Excuse me. It's still the morning for me. So we have a. We have a. A thirty-one for my weapon skill. And this is the kind of thing you're going to keep going. It's all going to be pretty similar until you get to toughness. Your city slickers, you see. City slickers. Slickest, baby. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing, uh, Caldwell, you're here watching. Can you hear the other folks in the chat? Other folks say hey. Hello. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Adam Caldwell, Adam Caldwell, can you hear us? Adam Caldwell. Can you hear them? Is that coming through okay? Can you hear us? Nice. I am doing wonderful, Mr. Adam Caldwell. All right. So, here, <clears throat> here we are. We have. Very good. Very good. That is great to hear. And thank you for that. And I'm trying to make it so that I can see what you're saying. I don't like to. Uh, yeah, because your chat's like really small on YouTube, right? Yeah, and it's yeah. kind of. It's there is a pop out option. This. Yeah, I mean, but I couldn't see it from my vertical screen, so <laughs> I knew it was gonna be there. I just didn't know. Fair. <laughs> All right, we got it. Okay, cool. Great, great, great. That seems way better. So here we are. The <laughs> the next thing. Good. Yeah. Okay. So we have we have right here our very first thing. When you guys get past this step, we'll kind of move forward as a group. How does that sound? We'll kind of go right. through it all together. So Love I it. got 36 for my weapon skill. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing ballistics. Mm -hmm. I still haven't thought of a name. Yeah, well, you can totally do your one from Final Fantasy. That's no issue. What, 73 no for ballistic. 73 for ballistic? What? I don't think uh, that's possible. <laughs> so I think something might have I, I'm been rolling, I'm, Okay. I, I'm rolling the D100. Oh, you did seven and three because you did the hundred and the... See, so you did yeah. the exact same thing I did. That was the exact same thing I did. So that's 10. So for ballistic, that's 30. So that's a ballistic okay. roll of 30. Okay. Yeah, so you did... Uh, it's so easy to do. So you can use the hundred die if, you know, you don't do exactly what Debeck and I did. not <laughs> Read it literally. <laughs> So it's 2d10 plus 20. Yes, that's right. Okay. Unless you're on your toughness, <laughs> which is right. going to mean a 15, but it will benefit you with yeah. your fellowship because a city slicker might, you know, not be able to shuck hay very well, but you can shuck hay pretty well. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, I, the, basically, I very, very poorly conceived. You can speak well, but you can't lift well. I thought it was going to sound better, but again, I'm, I woke up like an hour ago. My alarm did not go off. And I spent last night shocking. getting electrocuted. But, you know, Truly that's shocking. cool. All right. Ugh. Here we go. So we have... 14. Pretty solid. 14 plus 20. Mm -hmm. So that's 34. And Sarah, did I hear you say you're probably going to go with Guardsman again? Sarah always goes. I don't wanna. I want to do something else. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> the one time, last time when I could have gone with a psyker and I didn't. I was a guardsman. 
You could be a tech priest cool. that's like obsessed with like an oven or something. I got 11 on strength. You were an Arbitey last time, weren't you? The the Cyberhound division? Yeah, I was the Cyberhound division of the Arbitrator. Cricket. You had a. Alright, <laughs> I'm at toughness. I had okay. a cyber dog. So this time, instead of adding 20, you're just gonna add 15. Well, hello there, Charizard Master Cold Kendall. Wow, you guys. Nine for ballistic. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're totally good. We're just we're we've just been kind of goofing off. This is a very, very casual kind of. Okay, first Roland's episode. on his way. Oh, there cool. we go. There we go. Got an eighteen plus twenty for strength. Let's go. I oh, yeah. love this PDF character. I got eleven sheet. for strength. <laughs> um, are, does the raw stat go into the circle or the square? The square is for the like uh, modifier, right? The or if you're flip. using that same sheet, it's just going to be the yeah. left and the right. So it's going to be the tens place on the left, and then you have the modifier, our uh, modifier on the left, and then just like the ones place on the right. So it's going to be just exactly like you think. Yeah, we're kind of uh and for those who don't know i'll pull up that sheet so people can see what we're looking at the <clears throat> character creation is pretty it's not tedious it can be exciting but it can also be a huge bummer because you're like oh i suck <laughs> but really it's it won't matter too much really it's it's gonna be okay i decided hey. to roll my stats first and now i'm gonna pick my second class. Since uh, oh. I rolled an 11 on my strength and I'm mm -hmm. using a great weapon, can I re-roll it? You can re-roll any of your stats, but you have to keep the second roll. Okay. So, yeah, you can do it. But if it's worse than 11, I mean... Uh, this character okay. sheet... 17. Guys, 17, that's, that's way better. better. Yeah, much better. Oh, that's a... I'm on to agility. This is the big one, boys. 37. This is the big one. I want a high agility. Can show me the 20. 26 for... 19, let's go. Hold on, I'm taking a picture. I'm taking a picture. <laughs> we believe you, man. <laughs> I don't believe me. <laughs> all right, all right. I, this is... This is... No. um. The way this is going to work is that, like, really, I really do... We can't really do what we're going to do if we're not having a little faith. So I'm yeah. I'm not going to be but looking it feels over your so homework. good. I, well, I believe you. Uh, and, and yes, I understand, especially because you're going to get you're going to get into be like, I swear to God, it was one. I didn't fuck with you. I, I swear to God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we're going to get some of those. Um, and when we get into the awesome. the part where we're basically when we're getting to the um like mm, mm, I'll, I'll talk about when we get there i don't want to confuse you guys you're you're already working so for the, the pretty, character freaking solid right now stat that i rolled despite goofing it up the first time i'd put a 37 here a modifier would be three seven would be the other number uh, and we're just going to kind of go through some of these. Now, these, like we talked earlier, um, what was it, was it? Hello, what up? Welcome in. Roland! Hey. Hello, if I sound like a husk, it's because I was actively clocked into work seven hours ago. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow, that sucks. Well, we are currently making our characters. Do you have all the information? I have the rule books, I have a whisper of a character sheet, and I have a defunct over three year old knowledge of how games work. Perfect. You're solid. That's that's more than most people have. So you've that's got perception. You have a uh that character sheet. You're gonna want to download it and then open it as a PDF. That way it's interactable. Um and it, it is interactable, you can just save it. So it's really, really nice. You can just Modify it right there on the screen. I have this pulled up, but it's, uh, yeah. 
I don't have it set to interact, and I don't really need to, so it's not going to be that. Terrible. Fired. Ruined. My life is in shambles because of you directly. I do what I can. I, I'm just impressed I can impact anyone that much. That's really nice. <laughs> That's really nice. Wow. Oh, my God. They say you don't... They say you didn't really make it till you have haters. You didn't have one this early. Oh, I think we made it. How do you? Don't forget Katie. Well, th that's that's over on Twitch. This is a whole new start. Oh right. <laughs> You're the first hater, Roland. Yeah, that's excellent. We have to get Katie in here so you have friends. Congrats. Not Aww. that you don't have any other friends, Roland. I'm sure you. Have I can't say I do. You know, I'm a lone wolf, <laughs> antisocial. Are you a are you a one wolf wolf pack of one wolf though? Because that's absolutely. Are you? Because that's that that's that Sigma grind set, man. <laughs> Sigma, but anyway. <laughs> oh. Oh. Those poor guys don't know we're laughing at him. All right. Okay, so we want to go through the no, basic okay. stats. Oh, yeah, my hmm? God. 42 in Fellowship. Blech. So we're, we're, we're statting. We're statting yeah. out. We're mm -hmm. making things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So if we... If we roll it, if we're rolling stats, two nines is a good thing. <laughs> That's oh, really yeah. good. Yeah, it's 18, and then you would have basically plus 20 if it's most of these. That's almost the best roll you can have. Hey, I thought we were doing percentile, and I know that 99s are very, very bad. <laughs> well, we're, no, it's good. It's good. Because if you get 9 and 9, that's, you're, you have an 18, you're adding it to the, uh, the 20 you start with because you're on a hive city. But if we were in the middle of a roll, if we were out in our our real scenario, that's terrible. You want to roll low, yeah. golf style. And, One, two, uh, three, but here, four. Oh, good. God. So we're doing uh, two D10s seven times? Pretty much. Yep. Okay. Right, I'm posting my, my character sheet to make sure it's right nine times i think right or whatever one two three yeah, yeah, four nine. five six seven eight nine yeah that's right and then if you're yeah. uh going to be going over that uh if you're gonna be <clears throat> basically that looks good man i mean your strength is hilarious i know right? Wait, what? are you sure scenes? you added did you add the 20 to that yeah <laughs> Oh my because that number wait, is smaller than 20. <laughs> <laughs> so you rolled some it's negative what numbers the there. And that's, gave me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Some of the. I don't seem right. Are we all doing the same world? Because some of them only you only add 15. We are, yes. We're all doing high okay. rolls. And so for toughness, you will roll 15 or add 15. But for your fellowship, you'll add 25. Oh. So down yeah. here. Uh, I would say this is incorrect. Did you roll on the dice 17? On strength? Well, so when you had your dice and you were rolling for your strength, you got an 11. And then you rolled them again and you got 17, right? Yeah. You have to add 20 to that. It should be 37. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely swole. Yeah, on, exactly. uh, that's, on, that's pretty good. And I have a feeling you're the same thing at a minimum. 23, 23 of the core rulebook is uh, is where you can see all the homeworld modifiers. Yeah, so you can I had see a, what you're adding to each. Here, but yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, clarification are, question. Are we taking all of these in order, or are we collecting the numbers and placing them where we're so inclined? That's a really good question. And because everybody else I told in order will go in order, Oh, and so just roll oh, okay. straight down. But you can also re-roll each of them, and the trick there is you just have to keep that second number. So it's a gamble. But the good thing about Dark Souls, so I love always increase. I love gambling with math rocks. Let's friggin' go. Yeah, dude. Uh, Wait, nine. Re-roll my perception. Nine and a four, thirteen. Uh, mm. I I'm tempted by that nine. <laughs> mm -hmm. But dissuade by the four. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, here comes my perception reroll. It's coming in. Uh, Golly. Nigel, that's good. 
That's really good. I rolled a straight three on my agility, and so I was like, guess I'll re-roll that. <laughs> Nigel's set with a three yes. for fellowship. That is dope. Holy crap, Nigel. Nice. Couldn't got the 20. Uh, got the uh, nat 20 in the stats, uh, but Well, no, he got, a, no, he got 15 because he got the uh, fellowship. Oh, yeah, that's 25, but yeah. I feel right, like right. I, I should re-roll the perception. Ooh. <laughs> but will you get better perception or cover an eye? You're trying to be a space cop. Do you need to see? Yeah, really. Mm. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> I feel like someone should be perceptive. I mean, I, I'm, a I'm perceptive now. I'm around an anchor named Thrust that, with the catchphrase, I'm going to thrust this thing into your skull. Wow. I like that it's just, there's no nuance. Too many things have subtlety to them. And you know, you just said I'm no. I'm so goddamn nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I just got a 16 and it's only downhill from here. <laughs> so if you know, if you had, a, if you roll a strong willpower, you know, you might not be so nervous. Probably I, I, I rolled a 34 on my reroll. Mm. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, you probably can't count on that luck continuing. That's that's pretty good. No. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I'm very happy for you, but, you know, also, yikes. <laughs> uh, the nice thing is, is that, you know, you you have to remember that most of the people you're going to be bumping into are, like, mutating under the stress of the pollutants in their city, so, you know. Clarification question. Yeah. Dice on D10s cannot roll zeros. The zeros on these are 10s? That's a 10, that's right. Okay. Yeah, D10 it went can't from a zero. four to a nineteen. <laughs> Ooh, Yay. that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's what you want. It's really you don't get. Uh, and, and truthfully, you can upgrade these stats as you go. So if you guys looked at the um, the sheets as they continue into the actual character paths, you'll see that they they do have like oh you can upgrade strength two times this tier. You can upgrade. Whatever, so. And because we're homebrewing a lot of that, it's it's something we can really <clears throat> make work where we need to. I still think the cyber dog is the best thing in the Book of Judgment. I'm Pretty so good. glad it's actually canon now that you can get a cyber dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Um, uh, each stat gets a reroll. We do not have a set number, but each stat gets one. That's right. Oh, thank God. I'll save that five for later. Uh, <laughs> so you, you can basically just be like, okay, so I didn't like my weapon skill, but I think I can do better because I got a two. And <laughs> you re-roll it, and because everything is better than two, it would be better. And you're like, I'm going to keep it. And you go to ballistic, and you roll a three, and you're like, oh, well, there's only <laughs> one thing worse than three. And you re-roll it, and you get a two, and you're like, well, now I have a two. And <laughs> I have... Currently an 11 and four 13s and a five uh, as my last few stats. And I'm nervous to consider. Re <laughs> I do love a shitty score. Yeah. I do. Uh, yeah. But f but five's bad. Well, I guess <laughs> if you want to succeed. But that's uh, not always what we do here. This is dark heresy. My, the thing that's stuck immediately in my craw is whether or not I want to re-roll the 13s, because if I could get a 5, I could get a 5 again. Or lower. Uh, well, I'm let's re -roll let's, let's begin with re-rolling the 5 and see mm -hmm. what, what the dice have to say. Mm -hmm. Not lower than a 5, please. I'll, oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Not so really it's lower though. than a five. What? <laughs> <laughs> there aren't a lot of... The odds were against you, man. I would have bet that hand. I... Whoa. Uh, so that five is now a four. Hey, oh, you no. didn't go too much lower. <laughs> <laughs> Silver linings. Happy miracles. All that. Oh, God. I mean, you know... 
considering one of my stats is a 19 and the other is an 18, a forge is just like a nice rounding out of, yeah, of things, I think. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, okay. All right. The the weird thing is when you when you roll your very first nat one and you're like, I uh, I'm gonna take a picture with my phone because I just I don't believe it. I want it was basically like what Lindo, like what Lindo, what Lindoa said with uh, he's like I'm gonna I'm gonna show the group I don't believe it, but like it's okay. It's so so I heard the words and then immediately they flew out of my delicate little ears uh what are we adding to each of the individual what are so the for, modifiers we are adding to everything yeah so it's on page 23 if you have that rule book but it is the uh for the hive everything is 20 for each of those except for your toughness which is 15 and your fellowship which is 25. 20 for everything with two exceptions Toughness 15, Fellowship 25. Fellowship is 20. Oh, God. Two different so you... columns. My life is in shambles. Oh. Uh, and then Toughness is 15. That's right. I know how math works. Hey, I didn't a moment ago. <clears throat> so it's good. Right before you got here, I did some really, really fun math. The nice thing is, d decided to take the hit and do the exact same thing I did. So. I was at least yep. in good company. I can hear the excited doggo. I take it, uh, shopping is complete. Yes. Okay. So as soon as everyone's done here, and don't rush, you don't want to make the kind of math decisions I made a moment ago. Or, or I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, well, I mean, you know. This character makes no sense, but that's fine. <laughs> we have a... Uh, we have a... It's, we're going to be shooting for an 8 to 10 session overall. And if we have to cancel some, it's okay. This is supposed to be for fun. This is not supposed to be work. So if it's more work for you to show up than it is fun, don't do it. Don't do it. So, just as a preface and just to kind of fill the space, that's the idea here. This is just a good time and yeah. Now, will we be having a session uh, Christmas Day? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I, I would expect no one to be held to that and also I think that we're probably also busy. Sarah and I are hosting, so it's, <clears throat> you know, busy over here okay so that's next week really god yeah we went tree hunting and everything our our living room is full of presents that are in various stages of being wrapped and so uh, mostly outgoing but it's boy we have a week oh wow hmm Wow. <sighs> so I'm on my oh, sorry, go ahead. uh on starting talents, do I just like like where it says or like so uh, do I pick all of these? Like do I just copy and paste or do I have to pick certain ones? Well, yeah, so right here, <clears throat> you are an arbitrator. Um, and the everything in here is pretty well spelled out. So it'll say basic weapons training, melee weapon training, primitive, and then quick draw or rapid reload. So where you have an or, you'll want to make sure you decide. But for the most part, they tell you what you have. So it says things like down here, <clears throat> uh, you have like three doses of a serum. You have injector, arbitrator ID, photo, pack of IO sticks, or a flask. Now I would point out <clears throat> that 
this version of the rule book, you guys might have noticed L's are gone. Yeah. Just don't just use your imagination. It's um it's pretty much there. It's mostly there. So it was pretty astonishing to know that, you know, Henry Cavill, who I thought was pretty chill, uh, absolutely stole our idea. And right? Like, Dude, stalker much? Like, what? Are you watching our so strange much right now, Superman? You can turn it into a movie or a TV show. I know, and it's like, dude, like, come on, like, we definitely can't, you know, compete with that. Are like, we the next Vox Machina? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're definitely trendsetters. This is definitely the, um... This is... We're kind of the in-crowd right now. Mm. It's just that we have to compete with, like, Riff Raff, like, Amazon. Ugh. <laughs> Henry Cavill. Mm-hmm, I know. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. so this is going to be Sarah's right here this is going to be Sarah's cross training here the guardsman now she hasn't said that yet but we know no, <clears throat> no I don't want to be a guardsman what are you going to go with I don't know what's yeah. so bad about guardsmen it's just, I always play always a guardsman because all of my characters, like, remember the last couple times that you played with us when I wasn't the GM, and every time my character was a guardsman, and she was always super stoic and just like, yeah, I'll get it done, and like, didn't question her orders. It's because I always end up as a guardsman because that's how I play all my characters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. Well, and it's it's really not a problem. The guardsmen is a really, no, really well No, guardsmen are really good. They're yeah. really good, and that's usually why I end up as one because I'm like, well, I don't know if I really have the what it takes to like be any of these other characters. All right, fine. Hi, Cricket. I was so I was looking at the the judgment book, and they have the suffering marshals. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool. And then I was reading it, and it was like, they're super stoic and often blunt and don't care about social norms. And I was like, that's all of my characters. I can't be a suffering marshal. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> I cannot for the life of me figure out where my screenshots are saving on my PC. Did you eat them? I hate that. Did you uh, check your butt? Might have. Oh, screenshots are so it's too deep. Yeah, and I can't figure out how to like change it, change the direct like destination that it's saving him. So it's like, uh... so Nigel's all set with his. Looks like Roland's all set with his. Mm hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, oh, I guess. I are we screenshotting these? Line. I mean, people are. I mean, it's it's not <laughs> a big deal. But it's... I can I can put mine up. Uh... Do I have the intelligence to be a forensic psychologist? Hmm. Yes! It is a 28. That's not too bad. But it's kind of bad. The total is 28? Uh, yeah. I see someone else walked nope. away with a 4. I think y'all want... <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you, you could... I just, you know, maybe, like, you're not, like, a good forensic... I mean, you could do it. But, like, you know, there are all kinds of forensic psychologists. Uh, no, it's it's a it's a compliment because who wants to be burdened with doing well? Because then people expect things from you. Just own it in, you know. So, honestly, my fellowship is the best stat that I have. Hey, mm -hmm. twins. Hmm. Everything there we go. I'm great. competent. Did I do this right? I just posted Let's it. Let's find out. Let's see if I can Everybody's got like one digit numbers, skill. and I think I did something we don't wonky or I don't know. Ooh. But I rolled Ooh. hella that good, dude. Roll. Well, Let's so fucking go. Ten. These. Okay, my ballistic skill is thirty. I rolled so one not higher. quite. So <laughs> the. I think I got the values right, but I didn't. The strength right. plus three. So you're. 
adding that because of the whole weapon skill thing. Is that right? Well, I rolled 38, or I rolled an 18 plus the 20 mm -hmm. for strength. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So yeah. Okay, so you separated it out for the modifiers. You can do it that way. The circle is normally where you just put like the the tens place, and then the square area is normally where the eight goes. And so you can see like um, where the modifier is quickly, but you kind of separate it out a different way. I think that it might be confusing if you have the plus there, because the plus, in if you can keep it straight, that's great. But the plus, there's nothing that's going to be added to that thirty-eight value. And so, like just using your strength for an example, your modifier is three. So when you're doing a strength test, it has to be, uh, uh, or, or if you're adding, a, if you're doing a, a melee attack, you take your weapon skill, which is 34, and you add your modifier from your strength. So you add your strength modifier to the damage after you've rolled your two hit with the 34. That could have explained, been explained 400 different ways better. My, I think I get what you're saying. Okay, yeah. So I think that you might want to restructure how you have your strength, <laughs> toughness, agility, etc. You might want right. to lay those out without this suggestion of a plus. If you know exactly yeah. what it means, then go for it and leave it. But the, um, generally speaking, if we're looking at Sarah's, <clears throat> I re-rolled my stats real quick. The ones that I hadn't already re-rolled. Gotcha. So I'm going to delete this and I didn't do super great re-rolling them, but they're in the thirties now. Yeah. 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 Nice. That's, that's a very good character, sir. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Um, there's like a forensic, the, the Verispix adept. Mm -hmm. They're basically like a crime scene mm -hmm. person. And one of their ta their talent that you can get, um, which is half of our allotted experience, so I probably wouldn't do it yet, um, is that you've witnessed so many crime scenes that you can just be like, yeah, that's a gunshot wound to the head. That's the blood spatter pattern. You know, it's close range. Just fuck it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Well, and now, after we're done with that, cool. you guys, I, I also want to uh, add a little more to this. Like I said, we're going to be homebrewing some of this. And I'd like you to know that you can shift your ones place values around. So what I mean by that is you can't be moving everything over, right? But like, let's just keep using Sarah's as an example. I want you guys to really feel like there's a lot of personalization, not so much randomization. And so if we take Sarah's, she was like, well, I really, really want to be intelligent, <sighs> but it's a straight up 30. That sucks. She could take the six peel that off her fellowship, move it over to her intelligence and she'd have 36. And she could take the three and this one. And yeah, she's pulled these down a lot, but she was able to pull up her intelligence stat to 30. Now, this is something that can get out of hand pretty quickly. But I truly don't think it's going to be hugely detrimental so long as none of your stats exceed 40. So feel free to do this, but I would rather this not result in any of your stats exceeding 40. Does that make sense? Oh, I'm just going to stick with what I got, honestly. Yeah, I'm sticking with what I got. Stuff. I feel like I'm know. pretty balanced. If we had somebody who was so we're not one. swapping the ones places, we're adding them to a different one. Right. Yeah. Okay. Puff this. So the the like I'm trying to find one of you guys who had something that was a little a little easier to to rule. So if you had like a a, a 29, for example, you could move a one from a different number, a different stat, and round it up to the next. The next modifier. Ooh, I would love to do that to my agility, actually. See, that's that's kind of the big thing, is that it's kind of to round out your modifier. Okay, so you would keep... So, like, if I were to move, like, my six over to intelligence, is it a swap, or is it... No, a... no, you move it. I, if I said swap, that was a... Okay. I misspoke. No, you, you move I just, it. I just wanted to make sure. It's so like, yeah. for my 36 fellowship, for example, I could move that six over to intelligence, 
but I would still have a fellowship of 36. No. No, it would move over there. So mm -hmm. then it would be a fellowship of 30. That's right. Okay. That's that's what I was Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not clear. To... My brain is still not working. So theoretically, if I just wanted to say fuck you perception and knock that down to a 20, I could make my strength of 40. You could do um you said it was your um your strength, you could pull it down to um Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> interesting <laughs> yeah the idea is that i had the same idea yeah the idea is that you could get a modifier but like going over 40 is that's a little much but if you're moving it to four there's not a lot of harm in that as long as you're taking from something else. or some things you could even do gotcha, it from multiple gotcha. stats i see nothing see no evil <laughs> yep pretty much like they say in the 40k universe Ignorance is mandatory. Huh. Um, how dumb do I want to be? <laughs> uh, it's easy for me to role play, you know? So I could move You're three muted. points from in I hit Let's the mute with my book. My bad. No, no, I, uh, thank you for that. No, I, um, I'm still so groggy, uh, just from the rough night and it, my alarm didn't go off. And so I woke up way late. I woke up at like 1140. So, you know, the goal was to start at noon. Yikes. I was awake for 20 minutes before I jumped in Discord, so. Great first session. Can I be jaded at 32? There are a lot of people who are jaded at 32. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> Millennials. Mm hmm. Okay, I think I finalized my stats. All right. I'm going to turn you up just a little bit. I do Luckily, need jaded easy. and total recall in order to know that many crime scenes. Do I? Oh, you know what class you're already? playing already? Couldn't be me. Um, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like building it in my head uh -huh. to see if I can if I can do it. Well, and so if everybody has their numbers, we're going to kind of move down into this next region. So there's this right here, the career paths. We already know what you are, and we already know where you're from. Um, Nigel had asked me earlier about being an adept. Perfectly fine. In fact, good. In fact, I'm actually impressed. Not that this is like rocket science, and I don't think that, you know... I think you're perfectly, perfectly, perfectly intelligent. The thing is that if you're reading this on your own for your first time, I'm, I guess, I'm just impressed. He was like, oh yeah, you can't be an adept from a hive world. They don't read. No, you totally can, and um, at least for our scenario here. But uh, you're effectively dual classing here. So you're all going to be <clears throat> arbitrators and whatever you want. So what does that mean for your gear? It means the best of both worlds. So if you get, as an arbitrator... A cigarette for some reason I don't know why they give you a cigarette it also means if we come down here to the cleric if you were dual classing you would have you would have whatever their thing is I'm not even sure where they put it I guess it's top of this page a hammer or a sword so you can really really expand on these things um, and we're taking the best of both worlds for these you get your four candles and your cigarettes. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's right. Mm -hmm. The reason is that, um, you know, you're in a, a, a relatively prosperous hive. This one is not one that's, you know, you guys have a regular source of income. Most hives are just- They've got levels. Like, they do. Yeah, they do. 
But like most most hive cities are just kind of getting along and they import a lot of their food. You guys have kelp for days. Yeah. Loads of kelp. Yeah. <clears throat> Book of Judgment open. Thank you. I think I might dual class into a cleric and just be really all about the heart of the cards. Sure. Yeah. Love it. You could just just role play. Uh, what what is? Yu -Oh. I almost said Saitama. What is his name? Kaiba. Kaiba. Yeah. Saito Kaiba. Saito Kaiba. Saito Kaiba. <laughs> Y'all are puny. I'm Get out of my face! <laughs> I've never... If Seto Kaiba was like seven feet tall and jacked to all hell. <laughs> Seto Kaiba is the best character in the world. I've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh, but I, I keep being... Who was it that... Which one of you guys sent me the Seto Kaiba being extra video? That was amazing. Oh, Somebody sent me that yeah. in stream the other day, and I was like, what? What the hell? I, I watched <laughs> it, was, it, it was, it was amazing. And then now YouTube was like, oh, you liked that, did you? And now I just <laughs> keep getting slapped in the face with these Kaiba compilations. That dude's amazing. I don't know anything about that. It was you? Kendall, thank you. That was amazing. What the hell? And in the, uh, the abridged, she's just like, fuck the rules. I have money. <laughs> there, There's one episode in the abridged where he's lesson, going up these stairs and he's just roasting the stairs. He's like, stupid stairs. Whoever invented these burn and their wife need, or something like that i'll have to find it yeah i in the thing that was randomly pushed to me last night he like pounded a thing of water and he's talking he's like in his r&d department god i guess he owns a company i don't know anything about him but he's he, he like does. Pounds he owns the duels master company for you know children's cards games duels master and they make water bottles because he's he, he pounds his water bottle he makes he has a thing called kaiba land okay he has his own theme park it's duel master themed by the way that me oh uh, <laughs> that's kind of cool so i think you're supposed to hate this guy right like he's like a bad guy he is no. uh, he's an anti-hero anti yeah, yeah. yeah he starts out as like an antagonist but okay. he's mostly just like the foil for Yugi's, we can do it with friendship. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, okay. Well, we gotta get back to this though. So, you know, <laughs> we're already we're already in hour two. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so when I rolled my character, I rolled a backstory for her, and she comes from a blue collar family. Uh -huh. And she loves honesty, duty, honor, and obligation. So I think cleric. Okay. Is gonna work for now, that. Are you gonna Are you gonna lean into this? Or are you gonna profess the the power of the saints? Are you gonna be that uh, person in the group? Yeah. I'm gonna have my saint book, and then when other people so, in the group so, try to so. lie, I'm gonna be like, honesty is the best policy. That's the one, Kendall. <laughs> Lovely. Unless we'll get along great. The God Emperor is the one lying to you, in which case lying was clearly the best policy. That's true. Yeah, so maybe the God Emperor willed us to lie because that just really worked out for us. Rules for thee. Okay. As soon as you uh, do that, maybe I'll just you guys know. Then. You guys can add some of these gear. <clears throat> Personally, myself, I never really cared for much of the bonus starting gear it was really just the um the weapons or like if there was some kind of like a special like a truly special something but like i never really bothered with like the whiskey and i wouldn't worry about it too much if you tell me you pull out a flask of whiskey i'm not gonna be like where'd you get it from i don't care you, you have so you had a flask on you whatever dude <clears throat> now if you yeah. tell me that you're like well actually i pull out my digi weapon cod piece and i'll be like whoa whoa First of all, how do you even know Digi Weapons exist? Did you do some extracurricular homework researching 40k? I'm impressed. Second of all, then you know you don't have a Digi Weapon cod piece. Then we're gonna have we're gonna Wait, have. Is that uh, a thing? Huh? Is that a thing? Yeah, no, not really. Digi Weapons are are real. We talked briefly about the the golden era of mankind. Technology soared to such heights they have never been seen again and little digital lasers um little rings extraordinarily powerful 
tools of all nature were made to be worn and utilized by people, but nobody can make them anymore. And so, you know, they're basically relics. And um, you could technically make a cod piece, but I'm pretty sure the tech priests that would have had to have assisted you with that would have died first. So I think that there's not a realistic way you could have one. May have missed it, but uh, for our subclass, are we taking all the starting skills that it's included? So when you, uh, so when you're looking at like here, so if you were talking about like a cleric, and it's telling you that you have the Whoa. speak language and speak low gothic, yes, these sort of things you're taking. And okay. then you have 400 experience when we actually get to the right. character tiers. You have like 400 experience to start buying skills with. And remember, again, you're. It sounds awesome, but you're also splitting 400 experience potentially between two different paths of purchasing boobs. So try and think ahead. There's a lot. I'm taking Deceive, Sarah, so just adds up there. <laughs> what page is the, the basic skills on? For the the base skills? The, yeah, Are you talking the about the one book? that comes with the characters or the ones that you use to um, purchase your moves? The purchase. the Like the awareness, barter, and all that. Or is that already, already with our character? Well, that'll be on... That starts on 46. But it's going to be different depending on the character you have. So, what is the... Uh, if you're going with, well, I guess it technically starts on 45. But for you, you are an arbitrator in Arbitee. So you actually have page 50 guaranteed to be where you're a start. But if you dual classed as an adept, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you, if you start as an adept, you can take from the adept tree and the Arbitee tree. Again, it sounds like it's a, a great... Oh, that's awesome. We get so many more moves or whatever. Yeah. But it also means you're splitting your experience between those different paths. So... There's a lot to be considered. The good news is... If you can make a really good case for me... Why you should be able to pull something from an even different class... There's a pretty high chance I'll say fine. It's really difficult for me to to rationalize saying no to a lot of these. Like, if you're like, well, I really feel like as an Arbiter, I can't, you know, I, I can't pick up literacy level two. It's like, okay, but why? <laughs> why? Why? Like, why can't you read better? I know that it's not what they're for, yeah. but you would be spending your valuable experience that way. So if that's how you want to to go, then that's how you do it. Hey. So a D5 plus eight for wound wounds. Yes. Oh, God. So you can just roll a d10 and have it. Round up. I, I, I did the dice parser in uh, 40k. That works too. So for those who don't know, we do have a dice parser bot here in the 40k channel of our stream. And uh, it allows you to do that. Kind of nice. Yeah, forward slash R space and then like 1d5 or whatever 2d 2d 10 and then in the parentheses it'll show you the value that you got which i don't like how well i'm rolling right now because i know it's gonna bite me in the ass yeah things have a way of rounding out 
Oh yeah. I was telling Sarah that when we were backpacking this summer, I was like, see how we're walking downhill all this? Oh, it sure sounds great, doesn't it? Just remember, end of the day, we're at a we're at a net 2k in increase in our our elevation, so we shouldn't be walking down right now. <laughs> There's an upcoming. <sighs> And there was. There was. Day after day. Ugh. Fun. Mmm. All of your character's physical traits. Yeah, and so... And if you guys have an idea of how you look, like... Perfectly fine. I know some of you out there are, are talented artists. Sarah being one of them. She usually ends up drawing what she believes she looks like and then when she's done satisfied with how that looks she ends up drawing the rest of the group so if you don't have an idea solidified she's probably going to end up asking you i rolled for mine so apparently i have dark skin brown hair and blue eyes i'm also a wiry build they are going to be mm. posted we're going to have them all because you can roll for everything in this game Recorded and yeah. held forever in YouTube's catacombs. I'm also 5'4". Short. <laughs> I think, uh, I think I'll have my wife draw, draw mine, so. Yeah, because I rolled for height and weight. I rolled for everything. I'm like, I'm just going to, she's going to be randomly generated. Wiry 5'4". All right. It's hmm. actually hilarious because I was like, oh, what if I was looking through TV tropes and I was like, what if I make her like a badass preacher kind of like cleric um, or she's just like the preacher with a gun kind of person. And now she's five, four. And I'm like, that might be hilarious. Did it give you a weight? <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I erased it. Hold on. Oh, it's Hold on. Yeah, right. Uh, no, it's not royalty free. I buy it. I'm 121 pounds. 121 pounds. Apparently. I am. And you're 5'4 and wiry? I don't think I'm going to be a badass preacher. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking you're kind of. <laughs> Maybe the preacher from uh, Walking Dead. I mean, you're kind of a, you know. I'm thinking bowling pin shaped, really heavy on the bottom, with these like what Disney is a, a like wiry Mickey Mouse build? arms. Lou question. Huh. Are psychers off the table? Yes. Okay. Yep, this is the only thing that we have for restrictions as far as this goes. We aren't doing psychers for quite a few reasons. The biggest one is that I mentioned how I, I want to take away a lot of the RNG element to this. And psychers are RNG machines. They will You don't want to blow up your entire party. I right. don't know. And also, it's not even just that in a hive city of two billion people, you can when when they say, Oh, this effect happens for four D ten meters around you in every direction. Well, that isn't like when you're in a field or on a road it where it could affect kind of basically just a couple directions effectively a you know two-dimensional plane usually people in front people behind in a hive city that means people on different floors are being affected there could be potentially hundreds of people and there are rippling ramifications of that kind of an effect Uh, but to answer your question, Cole Kendall, it's actually a um, it's a service that I pay for called Epidemic Sounds. It's okay. It's okay. We roll for fate yet? Fate points? We haven't as a collective, but you're welcome to. And do know that uh, every single session after this one, you can pray to the God Emperor if you want. And uh, if you get a one or a two, and it's like a random roll, just, okay, I'm going to pray to the God Emperor. And then you roll. If you get a one or a two, you can get a fate point. I forgot to mention that last time. Uh, That's a, a rule I made up in my very first session, and it's been 
I think there have been collectively two fate points handed out. <laughs> one or a two on a D100? Yep. Okay, that makes more sense. <clears throat> Sorry for the dog. There you go. Fate roll. Got a three, so I got one fate point. Amelia, lay down. Sassy. She is sassy. I had to look up what that build would look like. I am so tiny. <laughs> what a, a 5'4", 120 pounds. 100 pounds. Luckily, there are so many pictures on the internet of various height women who are like, look at my weight loss photos. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to so, I'm not going to stream that, but I'm I'm interested no, to see what you settled I, on. Yeah, there are a lot of pictures and I'm like thank you ladies you're really visualizing this for me and I appreciate this mm -hmm. all right I posted my sheet so far am I right like is this let's see things look pretty good here yeah I would say that this is probably this is probably what we're gonna be seeing here so do I, with no do I need to pick another basic skill like or is no you're fine Ooh. if those are the okay. ones that you have it's it's not a big deal uh everybody should make sure they have swim selected though again you technically live on a water world now there's not a lot of water but the everyone knows how to swim you're fine we uh do we figure out if that's agility based or strength well luckily when you're looking at this this uh handy dandy guide here on the sheet it says s which means that that is a strength check so if you see here that silent move has ag that's agility search right. is perception etc now these just provide potential modifiers so when you're looking at these basic skills if your silent that's move is in its very very first tier it's probably not going to actually be that helpful but a plus 10 comes into effect if you have the second upgrade and so on. I it could be very good. Uh, and the stat upgrades go in levels of five or ten. Uh the stat upgrades. It is you. Uh, when you do your character advancement, spend your XP. Usually upgrades. five. That's the way that that normally goes, unless otherwise stated. Five is is the default. All right. So, all of my stats should start at a five. <laughs> like I said, you can move things around. Well, that's the thing. I'm like, if it's a round number mm -hmm. or an even number, if you add five to it, that just knocks it to a 39, for example. So, yep. yep. I didn't want to tell anybody how to do it, but that's exactly what I was thinking. I want people to, okay. to feel, you know. Again, I, I want you to feel like you have control over how this plays out. And, yeah, I uh, swapped my fellowship and my intelligence. We're starting with the Arbitrator Throne Gelt, right? Yes. Okay. You guys aren't being paid that much, that's for sure. It's all right. You have jobs year round, which is more than most people have. You, uh, yep. you'll at least be paid consistent. You can get your, your kelp wafers and your, your fiber cubes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Everybody eats kelp year round. Got your your kelp. I love my fiber cubes. Your kelp dipping oil. Cubes. Hmm. I don't 
don't like fubes. I think I need you to take that back. <laughs> Crazy. No, it's, uh, I, I pay for the music. So for me, uh, there are, I use a, a program called Epidemic Sounds. And um, you basically pay for access. And depending on how large your viewership is, you have different brackets of, of pay. And it's kind of funny. We have had to fight people on whether or not we paid for something because they're like, hey, I own that song. And it's like, okay, I own the rights temporarily for that song too. And so it's, uh, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's free to report somebody for using your stuff. So usually organizations who have anything that could be picked up like that, they report everyone and then let them sort it out. It's a really good system. So are there any other questions regarding the stats and basic gear? I'm just looking through, uh, my experience point stuff right now, but right, don't right, right, really right. need to wait on me for that. So it says I get a hat. Can I also have a wizard hat? Ooh, you are sorry, oh, crazy. <laughs> Roll a d100 right now. <laughs> 86. Damn. Keep in mind, high is bad. Oh, so anti dam. So you can have a, a tin foil hat that you think is a wizard hat. <laughs> that fits my character. <laughs> Love it. But keep in mind, everyone sees it as a tin foil hat, and you have to tell everyone that it's your wizard hat. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, the answer is not technically no. It's you know, it's almost yes. The answer is almost yes. It's got one paper star on it. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta work for the star. You know, you gotta, you gotta earn the star. <clears throat> That's just held on there by, by a little piece of tape. Yeah. It's already starting to fall off. So maybe I'm a little bit ahead. But which of these vehicles is 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 most uh, common? Well, it actually probably won't come up. For you guys, you're going to be doing a lot of foot traffic. and I the, don't know how to drive. Yeah, you will probably... There, the nice thing about Hive Cities is that you're, you're not going to have a lot of... There are ways that you can move around in a... Um, like, you could take, like, a, an air vehicle from here to there. That would be really helpful. But not super common there are going to be public transportation methods either kind of privatized ones or ones that are like i think subways that type of thing kind of like a an inner hive transportation uh there are also because you do live on a watery world where when we do start our first session in the world you are right before you're kind of doing the the super cop setup for what's going to be a very large festival for when the ice starts to thaw. The ice around your hive starts to thaw. The water kind of laps up against the edge of the hive and thus begins the thaw season where the kelp starts to grow. So there are a lot of water vehicles, things like harvesters and just different, different skimmers that you may be using. I can't really say which one you're going to be using the most, but that's kind of a a basic rundown of your environment. Ah. Hmm. Pilot civilian craft, eh? I think I shall. And that's not a bad idea, because most craft are going to be civilian. Now, there may come a time... Mm -hmm. Where you like to stop it? There, um... 
in times past, in your hive, the hive is not a democracy. It's not set up in a way that, you know, you vote for who tells you what to do. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. The hive is going to basically run top down and way top to way down. And sometimes if there's a new governor or someone who takes position of authority and they're wanting to show everyone that they mean business and they're serious and they're going to make things better for the rich people, often that usually means a show of force in the undercities. And, you know, crime was getting bad, we'll destroy all the crime. And so they'll rally together a whole bunch of PDF, Planetary Defense Forces, and a uh, uh, all the all the captains, the everybody, 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 and they'll march through the streets with their military vehicles, effectively Bradley assault vehicles. Everyone in heavy gear, and they make it about four blocks. Because you know what stops yep. Bradley assault vehicles? Bodies, because <laughs> tissue will gum up anything if you give enough tissue. And so, you really don't make a lot of headway, even with all the force in the world, the innumerous, just the innumerable, innumer innumerable bodies that the, uh, the, the pores have to throw at you will eventually bind up the gears. And inevitably they fail. So, that kind of thing. That happens in every hive city, though. That's just a thing. Given thousands of years, someone's bound to do it, and usually, <coughs> usually in every hive they have. Some multiple times. So it could be you have some some military craft. Hopefully, it's not in one of those scenarios. But yeah, oh, yeah, it, it can happen. And what's the what's the difference between like pilot civilian craft and drive ground vehicle? Well, one is going to be for a civilian craft, the other one's going to be for mm -hmm. something like... They have... They say ground vehicle, but a lot of the stuff hovers mm -hmm. in 40k. Uh, and so if you were on like a, a battlefield, you may have like a... Just something that wouldn't be quite considered like a tank, but something that would be like a... Think like a... a, a like a Humvee. Okay. That would be not really a, a civilian craft because it has a 30 caliber machine gun sticking out the top, but it's yeah. something that's like, mm, sure, a stap. Yeah, if you got a stap, that would be pretty good. Okay. I think that makes sense for the kind of character I'm going for. I'm going for more of a like a wash from Firefly type, okay. type guy, ideally. Well, but I mean, yeah. And I if you get your toy dinosaurs, you know, again, oh, you don't oh. have to like. You oh, just yeah. tell me you have them. I don't need to, Oh, like, God in heaven. Yeah. I would like to think I'm the muscle of the the group. <laughs> like, With your just anger? Send me in. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I'm the wizard. The wizard, sure. Yeah, I mean, you have the cap. But do you have a wizard staff? I do have a staff. <gasps> Made of bamboo. I would also say that to you 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 do if you do decide to tell civilians, like let's say you're looking for like clues about something. You got a pretty good fellowship. If you roll up to just some random people and you're like, attention citizens, have you seen anything about this? And they're like, we don't know anything about that. And you're like, I'd like to use my fellowship roll. And you roll with your 40, well, that's pretty good. But if you tell them, attention citizens, I, in my wizard cap, would like to ask you about this thing. And they're like, we don't know anything. And you're like, well, I want to use my fellowship. You're probably going to take a hit to the fellowship because you mentioned that it's a wizard cap. I think <laughs> people are probably going to be a little... Mm. I mean, just because they're, they're intimidated by your power, probably. Does my my anchor add a uh, like a 
even more of an intimid intimidation factor to my character. If you took intimidation, baby, you'd have to you'd have to roleplay that one for me. So you'd have to tell me what you were doing to make it more intimidating, because it's simply so, existing. Wouldn't it? like you know we're we're interrogating someone. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here with that anchor, like I, I pull off my back. You know, and just set it down. Sure. Yeah. Like you ask once and they're like a little coy, maybe, you know? Uh, well, I mean, maybe I do. I don't know. And you pull it off, slam it onto the ground. This is the last time I'm going to ask you nicely. Maybe something like that. That might do it. If you then use Intimidate, that could bolster that roll. I think it would probably only do a rounding correction. So if you had like a... If you needed to pass like a threshold of 40 and you rolled like a 38, it'd get you there. Technically that would be a, a success, so. Yeah, if he rolled like a... Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is it would help you round it, yeah. So. What time did Pilar say she could be here? I don't know. I know that's nice. just a close up shop. Bup, 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 bup. Let me check my messages through the various medias that exist through the wonders and magic of technology. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 15 minutes. Okay. Theoretically. I just want to make sure we're going to like, miss her entirely. I'd like her so we have a bulk person, another bulk person, a very clear wizard that is very magical and no one can say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking scum. My man. Just right. like yeah. a gross little weasel cop. I am going uh, forensic analyst. Not an analytical Ex therapist. Ex-murderer. <laughs> No. You're not going to be an analytical therapist? I am not going to be an analytical therapist. I am a forensic a forensic. Think of the business person. cards. Think of the business cards. Mm. You could be an, anal an analropist. Yeah, I know. But, no. Hi. <laughs> Your local are body and, an, and analropist. <laughs> Telling me you're not gonna therapy us. Uh, Be right back one second. Mm -hmm. Rip your debt. You will be mourned. Yeah, the. Uh, mm, I like. I like that you're a forensic. So, it, so you knew with forensics. That's gonna be really yeah. nice. Is that a an official, like? Uh, deviation down the road, like in the uh, Book of Judgment? Yeah. Um, yes. It's supposed to require the adept career, but ah. whatever. Um, it's a, a Verispex adept, and in this case, um, Yes, Jess. You are... God, everything takes like 20 years. Uh, but basically... You get the talent unparalleled proficiency, which you have spent years studying a single subject. You know minutia that would baffle even other scholars. Uh, you can add half of your unaugmented intelligence bonus, rounding up to the degree of success of any successful scholastic lore test. Um, you just get that. Mm -hmm. And then the talent that I can take after I take two other talents is seen this before which is you've witnessed so many crime scenes that you can quickly identify patterns and um yeah whatever okay. um and also that allows you to use an intelligence test in place of any skill test that investigation is a skill descriptor for Ooh, so you could swap it out for perception Ooh. 
I would, I would, yeah. So if it has, so like inquiry, right? That uses fellowship. Yeah. But it has the tag investigation. That's right. Yeah. So once I can take that talent, I can't take it yet because I no, don't have yeah. enough experience points. Yeah. Um, but Ooh. in this case, um, once I have it, instead of using my fellowship, which I turned into a thirty, so I could have thirty-six intelligence. Mm -hmm. Um, I can just use my intelligence instead of fellowship to make inquiries. Very smart. Very smart. No pun intended. I have Justin, do you play? Have you ever played Dark Heresy? This will be our... Well, it'll be my sixth. Is that right? I've written four. Is, that right? Is it number four I've written? Is that right? I think so. Four or five. Wow. And then... Five. Wow. And that means I've been a part of seven? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So I'm not crazy. Ooh. With 400, I I'm able to get dodged to plus 20. Time and people, for sure. Dodge plus 20 with what? Uh, just like experience points spent. Like, seems like it's possible. I just want to make sure I'm well, not crazy. Let's see here. So, because uh, I start with dodge a scum, and then I spent a hundred to get it to plus ten, and then just another hundred to get it to plus twenty. And is that in that first the tier? The first tier. Um, right. So if we go to scum, I'm pulling that up right here. Yeah. The that's what's going to dictate it. I'm not saying no. Yeah, I yeah. don't actually know. It seems like it's a pretty high amount for a brand new. Right. But if that's what it says, that's what it says. We want to... There's the Imperial Psyche. Oh, oh, you're saying uh, the the drag advances it, it would be then. Those are what I have to choose from. Well, so you have the drag, yes. Because okay. to go up to the outcast... <laughs> yeah, so if you okay. look at your... This is on page 83. So let's go here on the PDF. Yep. You got that there? Yep. Okay. So 83. And right here, you can see, like, this is how it's it's outlined. And the reason that you have 400 experience. Yeah. Okay. So that wouldn't be possible. I can just, uh, for that drag chart, is what I can invest in with the 400. Yes, that's right. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, the reason it's it's we we started with 400 is so that you couldn't go into the second tier. Copy that. So yeah, yeah. Always time. I have issues. three versions of this PDF open. Ooh. So I can't have civil craft then. Yeah. No, not if it's in the. Yeah, not if it's in the outcast. So you've got the first tier for this for scum and the first tier for our body. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. I was like, this seems a little broken. It's a little, it's a little much. It's a little much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, not getting hit, buddy. Sorry. Um. Okay. Where are you, scrutiny? I want to know what you do. Or are you in here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> These pictures are so extra. <laughs> like, what? what is going what on is with this guy? Reaction? Like, for real. This looks like part of a pelt or something. He's wearing, like, a whole bunch hey. of randomly put together scraps of, of clothing into a... a and cloak. paper. Huh? And paper, if you look on his... Well... This is probably an Oath of Moment, better. which is kind of weird. Dude, Oaths of Moment are so cool. An Oath of Moment. Are you talking about the thing on his inner thigh? Yeah. That's an Oath of Moment, yeah. So an Oath of Moment is... Uh, I'll... Uh, So let's go to an oath of moment. 
Let's see if we can find a, a space marine decked out in oaths of moment. Man, I'm gonna have to put a hoodie on. <laughs> here we go. So right here, these are effectively homemade oaths of moment, but you'll find them often adorning. I like making them. They're a lot of fun, yeah. They're usually on... They're kind of on space marines. Because a lot of guardsmen don't get a chance to use them to live. Normally when a guardsman <laughs> yeah. sees an Oath of Moment, it's because it's their moment. The Oath of Moment <laughs> is... Is because they... They have... Kind of... They have what is effectively going to be either... They're a moment of ultimate glory. And probably death. In fact, you're not normally going to write an oath of moment unless death is like a 10 to 1 on the table. And uh, Space Marines will often... It basically, it's just like, I'm going to win. I'm, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to win. But in the likely event I don't personally win... I'm going to make sure that humanity wins. And that means I'm going to take as many of these foul bastards with me. I'm going to do it in the name of the Emperor and for all mankind. And blah, 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 blah. It's a, it's a, it's a pledge to, to die trying, kind of. And it's like when the, when the last bit of light leaves my eyes, I'll make sure that my heart is full of the God King. You know, whatever. It's just, it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun extra stuff. Um... And if they have to live... What is SP? Question. SP? Sorry. What's up? Yeah. So, basic weapon training, SP. What does the SP stand for? I believe that's... that's a good Super question. Super projectile? I was thinking spunk. Because you have alt, flame, las, launcher, melta, plasma, primitive, and SP. Special. Special. What are special weapons? So, if we go to the weapons, there are things like needlers, the needle rifle. Those are okay. Those are kind Which of unique. I won't have. Well, that you might. I mean, it depends. Well, you start. I don't know. You start with the the basic weapon training SP and the melee weapon training primitive. Which the primitive would be oh. the brass knuckles and the club. Well, no, you're you right then. With. So I'm not even sure. Actually, hang on. Because then it couldn't be special. Because I know there are special weapon types. Hmm. That's a good question. I know. I'm like, I'm looking in the book for it. And like, it's, they just don't have it anywhere that I can find it. And I'm yeah, like, what does this mean? That. We'll have to revisit that. I'm, I wish I had an answer for you, Sarah. I'm sorry, I don't. We haven't had that come up too much. Let's see if we can Google it. Oh man, we get paid 70 thrones a month? Jeez. Solid projectile, of course. Shotgun. Of course. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Solid projectile, okay. <laughs> Duh. <clears throat> Alright, there we go making a note of that so I can remember what that is. Okay, so that is the shotgun, pistols. Or a staple gun, you know, like a really nice staple gun. Yeah. A BB gun. Mm-hmm. Got it, A got musket. It. Okay. A paintball gun that shoots napalm. <laughs> I think that's a flamer or a mm -hmm. plasma weapon. It's, mm -hmm. it's contained. <laughs> I have 100 more experience to spend. Ooh. Same. Samesies. Think. I can train in las pistols, but I don't have Listles. a las pistol. I have a shotgun. Which I think is fine, because then I can very shittily hit them with the butt of the shotgun. Probably just directly into their stomach because I am so short. <laughs> yeah. Go for the knees. <laughs> well, five four isn't that short. That's pretty average for a 
for a lady. Yeah, I mean, but if I'm in, like, a group of dudes... Fair enough. They're all, like... And you're in, you're in, um... Five, eight. You're in five boots. To six foot. And you yeah. probably have heels my, on. You know, this is 40k. You know, you're styling. My boots add four inches. Well, if you got some foreign stilettos people. on your boots, you know. <laughs> what is sound constitution? Yeah. That's... Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's your hit points. So sound constitution is a move, effectively, that it add, allows you to add health so you know how like you have like 12 health points sound constitution allows you to bump it up by one oh. we're gonna go with awareness i'm gonna be so aware and when you say okay, health you, you mean toughness huh when you say health you mean toughness uh oh, your actual hit points your actual hit points i'm actually gonna take that I have, like, I have 11 total wounds, which are the hit points. That's your wounds. The so sound constitution allows you to increase your wounds, your actual oh. HP. Okay, so wounds are is HP. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotta look up what my ACK vest gives hmm. me. Audi. Three. I got three armor. Whoa. Is the mesh vest better? Oh, it is. Dear God in heaven. Oh, hello, Pilar. <laughs> I, I didn't the, uh... see the text because I wasn't looking at Discord. Basically, everybody in this group is going to be able to, um, hello, uh, how do you join? Good question. Um, yep, pop in the general. Oh, I didn't go in general. I just put straight into the DH stream chat. Yeah, Sarah grabbed you and whipped you in. Actually, I did not. Um, Roland is a member of the Tunnel Snakes, so he can add himself to any of these Oh, <laughs> look at you. I forgot about that. That's true. Yeah, well, um... Pick your yeah, favorites. So... <laughs> Immediately, like, we'll fix that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're just going to add a uh, probably a new tier, just separate from everything. Uh, the Dark Heresy group. It'll look like word soup. It'll be... 40kdh vc oh. so it'll be the 40k dark heresy voice chat hello that's a jumble <laughs> pretty much oh no pilar you're dead yeah oh no pg <laughs> Okay. okay. Got my experience points spent. I think we're looking solid yep. on my end. You're you've got all your XP spent. I think so. All right. Same here. I haven't spent a single point. I've been staring and reading scum. Yeah. So, uh, Pilar. Dirty. Hello yeah. again. Have Hello you? Again. Have you? Uh, any more questions about our scenario here? Okay, so, um, I guess, hmm. So I did a, some reading last night. I don't think I got nearly as far as I would have liked to. Um, There's no worry. But, yes. So I think, started filling things in, but I guess I was just, um, I, I, as I can hear you guys have just talked about XP voids. And that was really sort of my question, because I'm like, all right, well, if I'm going to dual class, how am I going to choose? Uh, which may just be like a me thing, you know? Uh, no, no, it's a pretty good question. And effectively, it's yeah. you have 400 experience to split up how you like, which means you yeah. have a lot of options, but you have the same experience, so. Right, okay. So then, and then also, um, I guess I had a question about like, skills and like how many skills I choose 
Um, and is that where my XP goes and like the basic skills and the advanced skills? Yep, that's right. Okay, okay. And then, so the the sheet I have, you know, like where it has like plus 10, plus 20, and then bonus, is that something that I need to be concerned with now? Or are we just like, this? since we're starting at a baseline, we're just, these are the things that you have, and then you have your bonus according to what your characteristics are? Great question. So the way that that works on the stat sheet, that you have those three columns with the boxes to check off. And mm -hmm. effectively, once you take the skill, you have the skill to use, but there's no modifier mm. to it, not beyond its general description. Then, okay. as you progress through the tiers of your character development and forward through your experience gain, you will find that there are, like, let's say it was dodge. We talked about dodge. So if you take dodge, you take mm. dodge two later down the line, you'll have that plus 10. And if you take dodge three, you'll be able to pick up the third dodge, which is a plus 20. But it, they cost more each time, and you'll find that it will feel worth it. But it's something that is okay. a quick way to just kind of reference where you're at with those modifiers by filling in gotcha. either one, two, or three. And in the potential that there is even more, because some of the rule books that uh, we have as, as kind of peripheral text will allow for mm. even more, depending on what it is. I think Dodge is one of those that you could. I think he goes up to plus 40. Or oh, wow. the most assassiny of assassins. Gotcha. Okay, um, so then I guess the question, so then um, would that mean like, okay, so for example, Dodge is an agility, um, an, ag an agility based skill yeah. so if i have like a three for like a 34 score in agility then that would be adding 10 to the 34 to make it a 44 if mm -hmm. i level up in those okay mm -hmm. yeah you got it cool. Cool. cool 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 um and then what is our i couldn't only for that I, role I, it wouldn't be a permanent right of course yeah okay Oh, only for that role. I right. See. Okay. So if you were looking to, using Dodge as an example, you would normally just roll your agility, which is great. Mm -hmm. However, if you were rolling to Dodge because you increased your Dodge, effectively, if you had and it was actually in the modifier range of plus right, 10. Right, right. Okay, okay. So it's not dodge, like it doesn't level up your base agility. It just levels up your ability to Dodge, which is yes. based upon the agility. Correct. Got it. Okay. Oh, um, it's 70 pounds a month. Am I right in that? Um, because I have I have a percentage die and a, and a d10. So when I'm rolling, it's not, you know, like, it's not like 69. It's like 6 plus 9. And then you add the, um, like, the homeworld uh, modifier to the skill when you're, when you're getting your, um, your stats, right? Yeah, so it's 20 for everything except for your toughness, which is 15. So you're right, at 6 plus 9, you'd have a 15. And for your weapon skill, for example, that would be a total of 35. Right, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to make sure that I oh, had perfect. calculated them perfect. properly. Um, and then, I mean, are, are, are we sort of like building a team like you know so uh, everybody has like different sort of skill levels like or can we just like sort of choose what our dual class is you know you get for to choose. our own flavor okay yeah. cool everybody uh, you could coordinate if you really wanted to but if you guys have to split up i mean you might want to have some overlap or right, maybe you sure. just really want to to be the the tip of the spear and everybody do the exact same thing and have the most <laughs> efficacy possible at one thing Gotcha. Okay. And even Fair if enough. you take the same subclass as somebody, with the way the XP totals work and the way your stats yeah. are rolled and allotted, you could just be two different two scums, different. Oh, one yeah. being super jacked and one being super speedy. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. No. I Because I was looking at them and I was like, because like, I, so I was looking at them and I was thinking that I might uh, dual class as a cleric, but I don't know. Uh, mm. that's uh, like... Yeah, that'd be cool. I was considering cool. that and then went in a different direction. Yeah, it was either cleric or um, oh shoot, I don't remember what the other one was. But there was another one that I was looking at as well. But I was like, you know what? I could do like the priest detective do like situation, you know, mm -hmm. like 
that's totally a vibe that I'm into. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we have a we have a lot of leniency here. So when you get all your stats rolled, let me know because there's some a lot. <laughs> so of I did this. roll all my stats. You did. I did oh. roll all my stats. Yeah, mm. and then um, and then I there was a couple. Where was it? Um, initiative tech. Oh. Um. I do not remember where I got it, but the only thing that I had to adjust was um, was my willpower, according to something, but I can't remember what it is, because I felt like I wrote it down, but I guess I didn't. Uh, but it was originally 28, and then I got a plus 3 for something. Oh, I see. Uh, so you went with your, probably, did you roll for your starting world? I believe core no, worlds I, start with a plus 3. Well, uh, I mean, I thought we were all hive world. Yes, so we are. I, yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I did that, and then I rolled. Let me see here. Let me pull it up because I've got the PDF on my computer. Hmm? And I don't know um, if it's of any use to you, but I do have. Um, I am streaming this live on YouTube, and so it is something uh, that you can watch if you wanted to see what I'm looking at. It's not super important, but it's something you can do. Cool. I will pull it up in another thingy. And it's not like uh, a bust. We're it. already talking, so. Yes. What there. is this table? <laughs> huh? I'm trying to figure out how much I can carry, lift, and push. Hmm. And Same. it has it's garbage. a table. Yeah. Um, but the total goes from zero to twenty, and it doesn't say what that what that means no it isn't very good so we have always just filled that one in this kind yeah, of because the other ones like <laughs> your movements are your agility bonus times whatever your base leap and base jump are your strength bonus times whatever but there's uh -huh. no multipliers for carry lift and push and it doesn't tell you it's like total zero to twenty and Whatever that number is, is how much you can carry, lift, and push. But I don't know what the number corresponds to. It doesn't say that. It doesn't. I always just figure it's a good... Just use your body weight for carry, lift, and push. Okay. Because that's like just make that your... reliably what you might be able to... Yeah. And then we've talked yeah, about I... using stims before in a half again. So it's your body weight in a half. Mm. Just because it's not... It's not laid uh, out very well. This is one of the reasons once, most of our things are, are homebrewed here. For once, I looked up what the stim does. Oh, you did? Yeah, um, it's it lasts 3d10 rounds. Yep. Um, and uh, you ignore any negative effects that are on your, like, to your characteristics or person. Yeah. And you cannot be stunned. And then after it wears off, you have a minus 20 to your strength, toughness, and agility for one hour. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Yep. Worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, they're really nice. Okay, so I think I weigh 121 pounds. There you go. Tell me you're going to be a druggy priest. Is that what's going on? Priest yes. means different things in the 40k world. <laughs> yes. It doesn't mean, it doesn't no, mean in like... 40, in 40k, if you're a priest going into battle, you are so hopped up on uppers. <laughs> yes, Sub. How you you're doing, like, man? What's going on? for the emperor! It's like real life. Yeah. <laughs> you're just, just throwing poppers around. Oh, yeah. I uh, do I want... Realistically, I can probably carry about... 60 pounds because figure... theoretically i'm wearing all my gear so i must be strong yeah i would say i mean really you're uh, you're, you're total just like use your body weight don't even worry about if it's if it's all less right. than that don't worry about it because this is imagination land so it's fine i'm wiry i can do whatever i want mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> oh did did people roll their their divination that's my favorite thing to roll I have not. not yet. So I have rolled stats, and that is it. I rolled mine, and mine is a mind without purpose will wander in dark places. So the divination I... is kind of your personal—it's your personal quirk. 
Yeah, I, I rolled mine, uh, and it's in the darkness, follow the light of terror. Oh, that's where the plus three world power came in. That's what ah, it is. Oh, that would it make is. you a perfect cleric if you yeah. do class into that. If you right, exactly. Yeah. And that's why I was like, and I, I had already chosen cleric, and that's why mm -hmm. I, I, I rolled the divination. And I was like, oh, perfect, perfect. So, nice. Feels yeah. good. Yeah. 171. Oh, I need to roll my monthly income. That was like the one thing I didn't do. Oh yeah, I didn't roll that either. I, I didn't get quite that far. Mm. So I imagine that our income is going to be based on um, based on being uh, is it Arbites or Arbites? Arbites, I don't know. that's right. Arbites. Okay. Arbitrators, uh, Arbites, Arbites, same thing. Yeah, cool. Also, um, if you're if you end up being on like a higher tier, you mm -hmm. will be paid significantly more. Okay. So for the starting okay. skills that come with Arbites and, for example, Scum, are we, like, picking the ones that we get in this instance? You get them all. Cool. I know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you. I think I misunderstood then. Uh. We're good. I'm just trying to decide what I'm choosing between, so we get the. Did we have the two separate lists to choose from? I see. Yeah, you do. It's both. Yeah. So you you get to basically. The trouble is that because you have only 400 experience, you really want to choose where you're pathing, because it might sound really good to choose X, but Y down the road in the other tree is better. Um. And normally, because you're going to be advancing down the single path, you kind of only have that one path to choose from, so it's going to come up on its own. But if you're steering the ship another way, you may miss an opportunity. So you get both to choose from. You get both to choose from, but you have the same experience. So does that mean that you can choose dodge on one and then dodge <laughs> on the other one for two levels of dodge? No. Dodge is dodge. So if you choose dodge, you're not going to upgrade it till you see dodge two, etc. But if you're going with um, scum, I think they have something that's like charm, right? So if you have charm, I don't think our bodies have charm, but you would be able to take charm as a scum and at the same time take your weapon skill increase from your arbides. Like your inquiry plus ten is an arbites right. thing because you yeah. start out with inquiry. Yeah. What page is the deviation things on? I got myself lost. Thirty four. Thirty four. So, uh, Pilar, I also do have a a bit of a a twerk for you. And what is that? The one's place values of your stats so if you have like 31 you'd be the one right 46 would be the six mm -hmm. those can be reallocated to a maximum of 40 for the stat you're adding them to so one scenario would be like if you had a 35 and you really wanted that to be 40 you could take five from your perception and add it to that 35 value on a different stat round out your agility, let's say, to 40. Gotcha, okay. Very interesting. And it can happen. Oh, are we sharing our, our stats on the thingy? If you want to, it's not necessary. I believe you guys, okay. there's no point in buying. Oh, so. that doesn't all right. Yeah. Nice roll, d -back. Sure. Perfect hundo. So let's see, what's my deviation? <laughs> What'd you roll? A hundred. Well, let's find uh, out. So it's page 34. <laughs> yeah. Do not ask why you serve, only ask how. Uh, Increase you... weapon skill and ballistic skill each by two. I think I you actually... Do not ask uh, what your country you... can do for you, but <laughs> what you can do for your country. You actually didn't roll that, you just typed slash r100 you have to write oh. slash r1 d100 mm -hmm. oh okay <laughs> yeah i right. was like nice bro <laughs> it's pretty impressive yeah off the rip so slash 
one slash r space one d one hundred. There we go. Thirty three for oh. deviation is reading, reading, reading. If a job is worth doing, it's worth dying for. Gain the frenzy. To what the <laughs> fuck is frenzy? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. So know the mutant, kill the mutant, increase perception by two. Hell yeah. Hey. Also good. That's really relevant. Yeah. So we also will have this right here. So this is the hive world hive class. So this is basically going to be deciding uh, kind of your your uh, just a couple more little quirks about your character and so as soon as each of you are ready we do have a d100 for you to roll oh yes roll that. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. murder kill violence oh yeah all right I rolled my D100. What'd you get? 30. Ah, ganger scum. You ran with a pack of violent gangers to survive the squalid underhive. You have seen turf war, betrayed, and outstanding... Wait, betrayal and outstanding loyalty. Okay. Yeah, and so you likely prize your pride territory and gangmates above all. Hmm. I got 95, so it looks like I'm a hive noble. I see. Your family. I got a 93. Oh, wait, is uh. that for the, like, where you come from in the hive? Yeah, did you already roll that one? Yeah, I did. Um, I rolled factory dregs, oh, so okay. I had a blue collar family that probably. Oh, that's right, you mentioned that too. Oh, and yeah. I prized I'm... honesty, duty, honor, and obligation. Okay. Yes. I've rolled that as well, and I got yeah. specialist. Hmm. Uh, Family from a special caste grew mm -hmm. up part of the hive, but also apart from the hive. I value my area of expertise, opinions, and individual merits above all else. Yeah, and so if you guys have like you know serious you know objection to that, you could basically just be like, eh, but I really wanted my character to be Take like this, yeah. and just overrule it. It's not a big deal. It's just your backstory if you didn't have one lined up. Yeah, I think I had to look up frenzy. Uh, you insert yourself into a frothing, frothing, frothing <laughs> rage. You must spend one round psyching yourself up. The next round, you lose control and go berserk, gaining a plus ten bonus to strength and willpower, but a minus ten penalty to weapon skill and intelligence. You must attack the nearest enemy in melee combat, and you may not. Uh, flee, retreat, or parry. Letters are missing, it's fine. Mm -hmm. When possible, you must use the all-out attack maneuver. You may remain frenzied for the duration of combat. Mm -hmm. Some creatures, particularly certain types of daemon, do not need to spend a round inciting the frenzy. They're either permanently frenzied or can frenzy at will. Unless you have a talent that allows you to do so, you may not use psychic powers whilst in frenzy. No, and, and usually that's just not going to come up. So, But the frenzy, yeah, it's great. You know, you just go ham. And uh, I, what's great is it does say enemy. Beat somebody with my bare hands. <laughs> the the frenzy says enemy in that. That's really funny because we had, we had a GM who was always, he would always frenzy all of his, like every, someone would always be frenzying. It was Trevor for those who don't know. Uh, and he, he, but he never, he never employed the nearest enemy part of that. So it was whatever was closest. So if it was like the like his friends, like he would just start attacking his friends um, <laughs> all the time. That's 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 like Trevor's thing. He loves that stuff. I hope he's well. I, wish I mean, I don't you need intelligence. Scum. I'll just frenzy all the time. That's it. Ugh, yeah. Awful. <laughs> That's home base. That's my that's my default setting. That's it's right. just a mad person. Yeah, not even in combat. Frenzy. <laughs> he just takes a Goku squat in the middle of the road, just starts yelling. Everyone's like, ah, get out of the way. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So according to the the roles, my character's name is Gallus. All right. I rolled All right. a twenty-three. The 
good, strong name. Really strong name, Guy Alice. <laughs> I'm so Gallus, I messed up. Oh, boy. At, at least it wasn't Gaius. <laughs> it wasn't what? Ga it could have been Gaius. Like, that was, like, the next row for, like, the 24 to 27. I think mine was, um... What was it, Sarah? It was... Start with a G. For what? My character name, like, forever. Garm. Garm. It was Garm. Yeah. And so I just named every character I ever had after that Garm. <laughs> just because that's such a bad name. Like, I just can't even imagine, like... It's the... Oh, he's beautiful. Let's name him Garm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, we could do that. I'm writing it on the paperwork now. What a beautiful baby. I don't know if that's true. Reminds me of <laughs> what I imagine troll runoff must be called. Oh, I stepped in a troll off. Of arm. <laughs> Garm ain't too bad. That's true. Oh, really? It's short for... <laughs> Whoa. Abaddon? Well, Abedin or whatever, whatever his name is, is... Oh, has everybody rolled their fate points? I have. I rolled uh, mine. I did. I got one, baby, one. <laughs> nice. Um, I have not. Yes, Abaddon I did. is a punk ass from the current, the current era of books. Anyway, uh, so where are we all at right now? Where are you guys at? Each of you in your your current your current journey. I'm looking up how to do the fake points. You roll a d10. You just roll a d10. Okay. Oh. Hmm. It's a uh, five. Isn't it? I think it's a d10, but like it's split into subcategories of how much Categories. each point is worth. Uh, currently, I have my stats, I have my divination, I am getting fade points, I have the class I want to play, I have not I allocated starting skills or XP. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty much done. I'm looking up, like, minutiae to fill out the rest of it. I need... Jesus. <laughs> Hive world fade points three. Nice. That's pretty good. I think I'm at the same spot as Sarah. Just the like the stats for individual weapons. And yeah, all that's that is pretty yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and for those for... who didn't see, Laz is short for laser, which is kind of funny okay. because you still use a ballistics test to measure how your laser travels. But, hmm. um,. You know, if you fail it, you it's a really short laser. So you just like, measure the arc of the planet you're on <laughs> and mm -hmm. then negate it because you have to, I need to try oh, and I find you, out I how light you refracts. Throw knives. Hmm. Well, you oh, can yeah. also use like a, a musket ball. Talent. Weird. Yeah. Very strange. Are we I having have... any boundaries for the faith section that we need to kind of conform to or There's is it not exclamation point is it R? It's, what's that oh, it's slash Ugh. one d5 plus eight there it is Ooh. Oh, it ignored my plus eight, so I got a four. You got a four, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um. Oh, hmm. there it is. Okay, sound constitution. So, with the sound constitution, if that is a benefit, how do I mark it down? Because the it sheets adds that I have one wound to your total health. So, if you have ten wounds, which is your HP, you now have eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. And um, you want to just mark it in your sound constitution. Uh, I've, normally, got a, I've got a... 
Yeah, it, it's got like little boxes underneath. It's yeah. a sound constitution with little boxes. You can, you can only take it so many times. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can only make yourself so jacked. Yeah. <laughs> got yeah, it. Got I could take it three times if I wanted wanted to, like on a rank, on one rank. Yeah. Or... And then as you go up in ranks, you can take it again and again when it has it there. Yeah, because you you can only take it. So, if you have sound constitution on your your list of skills, you can take it mm -hmm. one time unless it specifies up to two times or something like that. Gotcha. And then just to double check, um, the when. I'm looking at like benefits for the hive world and um, and then also like cleric and arbiter. Um, when it says that you can take something as a basic skill, does that mean? Uh, sorry, guys, I live with children. Um, You're fine. Uh, the does that mean when you take it as a basic skill, that's something that you can choose to put your XP into? Um, well, it means or so, is it like yeah so if you have if you get it already that means that you have it and you can begin upgrading it so mm, okay. you have it as a basic skill and you can start spending right. points to upgrade it from the beginning gotcha okay but I mark it off as a basic skill that exists yes, yes. okay so like um, so I don't choose to put if I I still have tech use as a benefit of like being hive born um, though I choose whether or not to put uh, my 100 XP to Correct. okay cool yeah. just double checking yeah 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 that's that's why we're doing it together glad yeah. to answer questions cool The, the nice thing I think about this is that if there was a misunderstanding or something ends up being different than you thought it was, we can always change it. It's pretty easy to trace yeah, back fair. 400 experience. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Also, the, the, the stats you have are, are, are good, but really... It's going to come down to how you use them. I know that's a weird mm. thing to say and almost, you know, ambiguous, but like, let's say that, let's say you have a crowd of people. Mm -hmm. Crowd of people. And you're trying to use your, your fellowship skill, your charisma skill to sway them to do something. If you are rolling terribly, you can just RP what it was you were going to say to them. And just tell me, like, okay, well, there's your clothes are on fire. Stop, drop, and roll right now. But if your fellowship was really, really bad, they'd be like, I don't think that is what's going on. You could be like, look at your clothes. They're on fire. Aren't you feeling that? And they'd be like, well, I mean, I kind of do feel it, but I don't like your attitude. You could continue... <laughs> I'm like very familiar with these kinds of oh, people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and so, so if much. you, and so if you, if you can basically RP that out, tis you can but overcome. A scratch. Huh? It's tis but a scratch. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The it's Black Knight. Scratch, yeah. yeah, and and like you've, you you can basically get there for a lot of things that aren't like lock picking, because of the lock picking, mm -hmm. you can keep re-rolling it which is nice as long as you're not under duress mm. but um and, and so really it's it's very situational but for the most part i i'm i'm thinking that as long as you're you're able to be persuasive in the rp element you can overcome most things if you're doing right. a weapon skill test in combat that's going to be a little harder to like rationalize if you missed but even then if you can tell me how that happens and you can make a real convincing argument from the RP perspective, it might sway the score if it was close. Gotcha. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. 
Oh, what were the damage stats for uh, the anchor? Good question. So for your anchor, that's going to be over in the great weapon. I was going to go with effectively, they have like a long sword in this game. And it's, uh, in fact, let's see if we can find it. Okay. So, a great weapon. Most melee weapons can also be found in larger and heavier versions, usable only with two hands. Great weapons of this kind, such as huge axes, giant hammers, double-handed swords, and so on, including huge clubs, are massive, brutal weapons that can inflict serious damage with each blow. And I felt like yours fit that precisely. And so... To, to me anyway, I thought that effectively what you're dealing with is this. 2d10 rending. So rending is going to cause a bleeding effect. I, with an anchor, I don't see that being the thing. I think 2d10 with a penetration of 2 sounds just fine. Okay. penetration. Mm -hmm. Just because <laughs> you you're are. effectively <laughs> crushing through the armor. Yeah. Phrasing. Mm -hmm. Oh, there will be a lot of phrasing. I feel like I'm underwater right now. I'm so tired, but most of these folks here are used to me um, when I've been awake for more than three hours, and you know, my energy level here is nothing. It's, I'm, I'm sapped right now. This is traditionally my day off, and uh, mm. I was going to bring that up if we can see if we can not kill you, literally. You oh, know? you don't need to worry about that. We're good. This is this is fun for me. This is not that. I was literally zapped. I was electrocuted a lot. I don't know how many times. I <laughs> uh, was. It. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if it was over a hundred. Yo, hey, I did. I did. Ooh, I got zapped. I'm like good. drained right now. I woke up like three hours ago. Finally a stream in your time zone? Fuck yeah, man. Oh, God. Ugh. We're gonna need more coffee on Saturdays so we have it for Sunday, Sarah. Or, you know, not wake up at 20 minutes till we start this. Okay, maybe not go to bed at three in the morning either? No, oh, that's still gonna go on, that's fine. I don't see any problem with that. that that's this the best part. <laughs> Yeah. Push it to the limit. But yeah, today we're just doing we're just doing super casual. Normally it'll be about a two hour block. Um, which actually are we okay? Is I wanna make sure that everybody's time structure is okay. Which means do you think that it would benefit us if we started an hour later? Is everyone in this group okay with that? I'm fine. I'm I would greatly prefer that because That's, I literally don't get out of work until noon your time. So, exactly. Or I, not even that I don't get out of work. It's it's that we close then and then I have sure. a half hour cleanup and then like half hour to 45 minutes to get yeah. home. Well, and that's what I mean. I was I was hoping to accommodate that better at a minimum. Is that something that we're yeah. okay with as a, as a group? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nigel, I mean, is that cool with you? So like, yeah, sure. Okay. I don't want to put anybody out. If there is a problem and you know, and something comes up and you're like, oh, I forgot that I'm pregnant between noon and one. What? I don't know. Huh? But if some that kind happens, of I totally forgot about that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I have branch to bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that would be cool. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's something that if if we push this out an hour further. So, do you want to do a a one p.m. Pacific Standard meet time? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's good to me. Cool, 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 cool. If I if I can just ask, sure, because <laughs> I might as well. Uh -huh. um, could we do one thirty Pacific start time? How about that? Because then I can uh -oh. definitely be there for one thirty. Sounds perfect. Yeah, that's fine. One thirty. One thirty two. One thirty two works. One thirty two. Oh, such a mm. stick. Oh. Yeah. It's that wizard hat. All the powers Michael. getting to his head. I also have a staff. I forgot about mm. that. 
and what a staph right. it is. Make sure you polish it regularly. It helps avoid prostate cancer. That sounds great. I'm doing it now. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, good. So cool. the uh, yeah, so one thirty. Are we are we cool? Are we capisce that one? Seven thirty for sub. Sweet. So we will we'll we'll plan on that. You're forward. Sweet. Well, that's that's oh, that means we get a we get an extra forty minutes now today, yeah. right? Well, yeah. sure. Well, and I think we, we'll 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 go until people uh, need to leave or until we finish the character creation. Yeah. That way we can actually I have start to mine. Or, it's no. all done. You're done? What's the name of your well, character? Well, next week is Christmas. Well, okay. True. That's true. Fine. Yes, exactly. I can't believe next week is and Christmas. And then the week after that is the 1st of January. Oh. So we'll have to meet as to whether or not we can actually do that one. Really should have been on Twitch. All these clippable moments. Well, you can clip on here. I mean, sure. isn't the real celebration for New Year's the night before? Well, but the yeah. hangover is the next day. Yes, but will anybody be able to get up the yeah, next the hangover is the next day. <laughs> so, generally speaking, it's... Uh, not a guarantee. So, we'll, we'll have to communicate beforehand, and we'll, we'll work that out. Yeah. So, what are what is quirk? What are we quirking about? Hmm. What are you quirking about? What'd you roll? Oh. What is is that? A, is that a table? I need a, to roll. There's a table. There's a table. Mm -hmm. uh. there's a table. And I don't remember where it is because I just went somewhere else. I chose my own quirk. Okay. Yeah. Is it I, I went with outrageous hairstyle. <laughs> nice. And what a quirk it is. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And I figured the most outrageous hairstyle I could go with is the Romulan. You know, widow's oh, kind of. Oh yeah, really deep. Oh yeah. Oh. Anyone's got that page, that page number. Uh, looks like 31. 31. Where all the other tables are, right? <laughs> oh, they're oh. all over. There's a lot. There are a lot of tables. Yeah. Oh, there they are. I see. Hairy knuckles. Okay. Sarah, do you have quivering fingers? Is that your... <laughs> no, I have tattoos. <sighs> It's kind of neat. They're really, they're really sprucing up and spicing out the uh, YouTube live. It's, it's definitely, um, a th I mean, it's definitely something that there, I mean, we have, this is like the first real stream on YouTube. And so I feel like this is like goofy. Like I have all this gray space around me and the rule book in the middle. We're going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going to be, this is going to be improving. I mean, you guys remember the Twitch? ride we've been on the last year at least for my stream it's been like improved we'll just say that it's improved <laughs> it's improved last night i had outfits superimposed while it was snowing and we had two word lists on either side of the screen and we had an audio file now we just need to get you a vtuber model oh god i'm good i would rather just <laughs> Only if it was a literal space marine. Oh, God. I want to point out this, by the way, well, what you got with the hair. This is, like I said, I woke up 20 minutes before we started. This is what I looked like. I changed my shirt, and it's cold in here. I had a window. God open. damn. Because I it smelled like 16 minutes hair. after we started. <laughs> Good for you, Sarah. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's why it looks <laughs> dumb. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it looks stupid. So the... I had a window open on light because it smelled like burnt hair in here because of being electrocuted so much on my legs <laughs> that I had to open the window. Uh, <gasps> and so I have a jacket on because it's cold. I've got a heater on my toes. Poor baby. Oh. oh. Anyway. No sympathy for the GM. No? <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> Have you tried socks on your toes instead? Uh, they were in my sock basket. I have a basket for my socks. They're because that. if I don't, they end up all over the place. They're still all over the place. Let's not Ironically enough, here. me and my wife were just talking about a sock basket. Really? Last night, literally, yeah. I don't know why. For some reason, they're One the most the great things about them. not having legs. I don't have to deal with socks. Done. There. Done and dusted. 
I don't know why, they're just the most elusive piece of clothing. Get Cricket to lay across my toes? He'd do it too, the slut. No standards. He's a toe layer. No standards. You know, he'd just do it, he'd just lay down. I'm lucky he doesn't know there's a heater down here under the table, because if he did, he'd be right in front of it, on my feet, taking up all my heat! He's currently directly behind me. Mm-hmm. What was the number of the high world again? C33... Um, it is... Let me pull up my notes. <laughs> How do you spell that? <laughs> I'll pull up my notes. Hold on. It's like th C33-4177 or something. That's pretty close, but I have it here oh, literally as... C33-412. C33-412. Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's a beautiful name. I think Gaelic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Family name. Yeah. So, uh, just to check, Sarah, you're you're finished. Yep. And Noah, you're also finished. I believe so. Cool. I am also finished. D back Except is for... done like weapon item stats and stuff which I can just that'll be easy to just do on my time yeah well and it's not a big deal it's gonna be the same as almost everyone else so exactly I do believe I'm also done yeah okay now I just finished there almost there I think. Uh, I'm all uh. allocated except for my hive class which I will roll yeah. right now and then we have a, a bit of a decision after we're all done I guess I'm getting ahead of myself actually how do, how do you figure out how much money you have mm. well it's going to come up there's a table uh, for that yeah, <laughs> class <it> vehicle? <laughs> believe it or not so for I the don't remember Arbides, what page it's on, but it's there. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. 29 is starting wealth. Up That's at the top left. going to be a very good place to start then. No pun intended. Okay, thank you. It's not a pun, it's almost a wordplay. Almost. No wordplay intended. <laughs> yeah. And you guys will be paid more depending on your, you know where you are serving, which we've kind of yet to talk about. It's kind of the thing that we're going to leave the chance, but I want to make sure that you're all in agreement before we proceed. Although I guess I can just roll it differently. I have a couple different scenarios because in my initial breakdown of how I wanted this to go, I wanted there to be a kind of like I thought there would be like two different groups of you potentially on different days and I had set up so that like some of you would be on one some of you'd be on another floor and you know I think what we'll do in the first real decision I get to make here via the dice is we will choose which tier you're on and we're just gonna go from the bottom to the top so if it's super low that's going to be the bottom tier of the four-tiered hive city. High, high, high. And if it's high, you're up at the tippy top. And I'm just going to tell you, you want to be up top. So that's true. Objective. Being in the true. bottom sucks. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to go 25, 50, 75, 100. Ooh, cool. ooh, ooh. 78. Yeah, good enough. Nice. Top tier. Nice. Top tier, top of the shelf. That's nice. That's good. That's good. That's real good. Ooh. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you were using zero, like one to twenty-five as the first cutoff. I was very confused. Got it. We're oh, good. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You. Guys I was good. like. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I just rolled a D one hundred. Yeah, no, it's it's good. This is you're in the you're in the the super high class. 
we like that. Yeah, we like yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, good. That means I can use my rich upbringing to influence things. Well, you mm -hmm. know, it's good to keep it in, in your RP book because you want to make sure that you're staying consistent. It's going to help, and it helps you to better make decisions if you're ever faced with an actual I can, choice. I got money. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, Kaiba, it's your superpower. I have money. <laughs> super, 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 just unimaginably wealthy people. You're going to help them find their, their lost their dogs. Lost. And, and gold coins. and I doubt they even deal in real currency anymore. This is the kind of wealthy that doesn't have an actual figure attached to their bank account. This is the kind of wealthy that like... So Scrooge McDuck wealthy. Yeah. Kinda. Scrooge McDuck didn't have a lot of influence though. These people are rich. Am I random question? Yeah. Um, if if I have like as a skill, pistol or like as a talent or something, uh, pistol training, and it says SP. What does the SP stand for? Solid projectile. It's like a revolver. Ah, okay. Or and that's just telling you the type of weapon, mm -hmm. essentially, that you're yeah. looking into. Cool. We found that out earlier because I had the same question. Yeah, and I was like, I don't yeah, remember cool, cool. the life of me. Yeah, I know. Great question. Yeah, I was like, because <laughs> I, you know, like I'm looking at all the things that I'm like trained in or whatever, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. Um, yep. Cool, cool. They don't really list it anywhere either. No, they don't. Yeah. It's super weird. Good. Good. We love I used that. The power you know. of Google. Amazing. You get a get a get a SpongeBob imagination hmm? kind of uh you know. Band so we have to head. we have to make some art for the thumbnail and stuff because this one was just cricket and I because I didn't I was like oh yeah YouTube wants the thumbnail ahead of time. But it's so, so darn cute. We're probably going to have to like plaster our Discord icons on on different Space Marines. You know what? You're think you're you're stealing my brain meats. So yes, that's that was exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking we get some kind of basically classic Sterling style art where it's just shitty, and we just yeah. take an actual Games Workshop image of like I'm assuming. We'll go super dramatic, just some kind. I'm I'm sure this picture exists. I don't even have to look it up. I know it does. Some space marine on a on a, a cliff that's slightly above the army of space marines moving underneath him, and the guy on the cliff is pointing and has a flag. And we'll probably just um on the flag write dark heresy and put my face on the space marine up top, and then you guys. Is, I mean, that, I think that would be probably probably the best. The best Thumbs I can do. <clears throat> I, I'm definitely not capable of better, but yeah. Called to, oh really? Do I, do I have huh? liberty to write a uh, write a uh, theme? You <laughs> you can write whatever <laughs> you want, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> can I allocate? Uh, can I can, can I just have a talent for my character to like play an instrument? Can I can I just be granted? Actually, is it, that is a thing that comes up. Uh, you can yeah, I was I was looking into that because I like the some of the options are like a trade, mm -hmm. and I have a choice between mm -hmm. like ballet and cook or performer and uh, copyist, and I'm like, or like singer or copyist, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, and if you can, you know, like to find like, where they are, expand that to something else. Like I don't care, it can't possibly be a problem. <laughs> oh no! Now your character's Side broken. Money, yeah. If only I didn't let you play the fife. Yeah, I don't think that's. <laughs> when I was thinking of being a uh, a cleric, I was like, I could take the singer, 
And then on my days off, I sing in the choir. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking of doing that, or like, because my background is specialist, like, maybe we come from, like, you know, mm. a special, mm. uh, you know, like, sure. family of musical performers or something like that, you know. Um, and that's, like, how we how we serve the, the higher-born part of the hive. Sure. Or something. Yeah, that's, you know? that's totally on. Yeah, absolutely. Or the, or the Ecclesiastes, um, or whatever it's called. Ecclesiarchy, yeah. Guys. Yeah, awesome. know what our band name's gonna be. You can be, um... Like, you could do, like, the homeless cookery on the weekends. Nice. Yeah, that's that's another one. And then, like, valet. So, like, somebody... So, like, you get to choose between... As a cleric, you choose between singer or um, copyist, and then you choose between uh, cook or valet. And so, like... A singer who was, you know, hired as the valet, of, like the high priest, essentially, is what I'm like thinking of, and then oh, turned sure. cop, which is weird, but you know, <laughs> who knows? People choose different things in their lives. You know what it was? You probably there was just some rich asshole party, and they were like, "Now where has my solid gold, whatever statue disappeared off to?" And you're like, "Oh, that one over there." And they're like, oh, so it has. Well done. You, you, you're quite the investigator. I'll put a word in with the Arbides chief just to make sure you have a leg up when you go interview. And you'll be like, I'm going to what now? And then all of a sudden, there you are. <laughs> you know, that's, you know, that's not a terrible backstory. And I was thinking something along the lines of that generally, but like <laughs> less specific. I, like, how did I, I fall into this? Yeah. <laughs> a knack of noticing things that are in front of my face. Yeah, mm. uh, you mean that one right there? Oh, yeah. so we do, yes! The mom superpower? <laughs> <laughs> the one that's right behind yeah. you, if you would just turn around and look at it. Um, that one? That one. <laughs> oh! oh. Mm -hmm. Guys, you know what our, our band name could be? I hesitate hmm. to ask, what? Sound constitution. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. But true. Ugh. True. It's amazing. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So my <laughs> I am Uriel Zarin, mm. also mm. known as Zuri, because who wants to say all of that? Um yeah. And I'm gonna be a brawny lady, darker skinned with brown hair and blue gray eyes. Very nice. And that's 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 people, or that's uh, that's our Zuri. Zuri's in there, locked in. Anybody yeah. else still rolling traits? I think there was one thing that I was missing, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, quirk, quirky quirk, quirky thing. Where's that? Oh yeah. I'm going to have sets of piercings. 31, page 31. Quirk alert. Also, I'm not rolling for my appearance or my name. I make those because blackity black black. I always play black people. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I don't care at all. You guys look like whatever you want to look like. 40K is pretty cool like that. You can pretty well just yes. make it happen. I also Let's... chose and didn't roll that, but I did roll for like size. Sure. I was like, let's see. No. Yeah, it, it, my it, girl is totally random. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much as far as the uh, the prejudice of of our world don't actually move into their world. It's a fantasy. They have all kinds of other prejudices that are unrealistic, but these, <laughs> at least as far as uh, skin mattering for class or or caste, doesn't even come up. I don't even think they care. It's never even mentioned. So to me, there's no reason that anyone has ever cared about someone's uh, uh, sex or gender mattering. Uh, so I don't even think they have like a, you know. Well, in the rule book, it says if you are female, your opportunities are lessened. But a lot of people wisely decide, hmm, no thanks. Yeah, and I also, mm -hmm. I, I guess I don't even remember reading it. I'm sure that I did. And I was like, ah, eh, it's never, it's never going to come up. Who cares? <laughs> Back when I, I actually opened this thing for the first time, I'm sure that I did, and I was like, 
moving on yeah so uh i guess it does say it but the opportunities as far as i think that are lessened if you do get to the point where you're a space marine i don't think you could do that as a as a sheila i think that you have to be male because the dna rejects all but people who are almost identical in genetic makeup so you kind of explode but if you want to be a sister of battle you also can't do that if you're a fella so i think that's i think literally the only scenario but don't worry that'll never come up in one of mine so you're set great yeah in i have a oh. set of piercings oh. not just a piercing a yeah set. <laughs> i did that one i did that one that one i rolled for um oh what the lifting what do hmm. i what do i need to do with that we just generally oh, because it's not explained at all in any real good way we just go with your body weight so cool, 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 it's cool. just whatever your body weight is <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then and then base leap and base jump. That's that's uh, strength bonus multiplied yes. by one meter and twenty centimeters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Great. All yeah. right. Hmm. Arky doggy. Yeah, my sister just got home. <laughs> oh. She lives behind us. Ah. Dog's excited. That's what Cricket does. I come home, bark, bark. Scent comes home, bark, bark. Family comes over, bark. <laughs> and then he looks family in the eye when they step through the threshold and goes, bark. Yeah, like, I saw you, <laughs> don't worry, you're safe. You you passed the, <laughs> the special security check I put you through. No need for a pat down, you're clear. Lenses? What is lenses for eyes? <laughs> like glasses? Or freaky fake eyeball? <laughs> Both? Your choice. <laughs> yes! Horrible glow in the dark cat robot eyes. I love. Oh yeah, for sure. Just throw, throw, throw churches everywhere. Curl a church, NBD. Well, girl doesn't want to go out and drop churches on people. Yeah, I mean, that's what Justin here in the chat said, and I couldn't agree more. That's just... Yeah, of course. Sarah does that on the weekends. It's part of her charity work. Go so metal. people. We're not even religious, she just does it. So metal. Yeah. Okay, so does that mean that we're all just about square? So, yeah. I think the only thing that I'm like deciding on is if I'm gonna move some of my like points around a little bit, but mm -hmm. for the most part, I don't think I really want to. So that's okay. There's no need to. And again, a lot of it's you can really round out by just RPing. So if there's something that isn't yeah. objective, like oh, I missed, then there's a pretty good, pretty good chance you can do it. So with this, um. If everyone has their characters locked in, I will kind of just do a basic rundown of, of the world you're on, just as a reminder. And we talked about it before, but I don't know if everybody knew and if everyone heard. But um, your hive city was built a long, long time ago. And it was built basically for the purposes of extracting organic fuels. So... When, during the golden era of man, they came down, uh, they came across this planet, there were filthy, filthy Xenos on it. Aliens. And people killed them. People killed them. And this isn't, I said this last time, this is not going to be one of those stories where it's like, all but one. And you guys, like, you stumble across that one, and it's like, what? Oh, he wants revenge? No, they're dead. The golden age of humanity did not fuck around, and they killed them all. But they did used to live here. They were aquatic, kind of, uh, kind of a, an amphibian-like species. Doesn't matter. They're dead. But there was other life on this planet as well. It's primarily water. 
It has a thick layer of ice that engulfs most of the planet most of the year. There is a an underwater plateau that comes up high enough though that it creates a surface, a, a land base that your hive is actually on. And during some of the warmer months, two seasons of the year, when the planet is angled correctly and the proper distance from the sun, that ice loosens up, water comes out, and basically floods the, the plains around your hive city. Now, this is a seasonal thing. It's been happening forever. When the hive city was set down, like 13,000 years ago, it was thought then that, oh, we'll just, we'll upgrade the city. We'll, we'll do maintenance. We'll do whatever. We'll, we'll make sure it's still functional and nice as we keep going. It's the golden age of humanity. When could this possibly end? Right after that. It ended right after that, and it really hasn't been maintained at all in the last 13,000 years. Which is a long goddamn time. And luckily, humans knew what they were doing at the time. They built things to last. And the enormous shields that actually protect your hive city from things like radiation and potential attackers are buried deep within the hive and are protected and still fully functional. There's no reason to believe they're going to stop, but that's just a side note we didn't talk about yesterday I wanted to bring up again. Your hive city has roughly two billion people, two billion living souls stacked on top of each other. And that number gets way bigger the further down you go. Your tier has roughly 10,000 people. And it very dramatically steps each tier you go down. To say that it's a 1% is a gross exaggeration. It is people who, who don't understand paying for things. They ask for it and it comes. The reason they've been able to maintain such wealth and the reason that your hive is able to sustain it all is because, yes, it's true. You were parked on top of this plateau for the sake of convenience. And it's true, your ancestors dug deep beneath the hive to pull out things like coal and oil. Strangely enough, not for propulsion or for actual like use in their uses today, more for their more or less other chemical reasons. So you might need an organic oil for this or for that. They didn't use it for propulsion at that time, but it's something that was all consumed and there were enough people here. So the hive just kind of maintained and you guys have been on autopilot since then. But the reason it's been able to keep going is because when the seasonal flooding starts, a very rapidly growing kelp grows. It sprouts up very quickly, grows very quickly, and it has a, a very fibrous stalk and very, very oily bulbs and leaves. And it turns out this hydrocarbon in these bulbs, this oil, it's organic oil, is extremely clean burning and can be used for all manner of things like lubricant for many, many, many things across the Imperium. Your world bundles this up every year and ships it off for all kinds of things. It's true, you could synthesize a better oil if you wanted to, it'd be better. <clears throat> but the lube here is almost as good and it's virtually free in the eyes of the Imperium. They just load it up and ship it off. And it grows so much that you have these two seasons of harvest and then you guys just kind of hang for the other half of the year. Most of the hive does nothing for half of the year, which means that you need some super cops to make sure people aren't getting shit faced and killing each other. So we start our campaign when we do start our campaign 
right before the Festival of Growth, which is going to be just about a week before, that water starts seeding the ground and that kelp starts to grow up. You have a lot of greens in the colors of your, your clothing. Most people, their textiles come directly from the byproduct of the kelp. So a lot of green used for dye, a lot of uh, very fibrous clothing made from the stalks of the kelp. A lot of your, your furnaces are actually combustion based because of the easy access you have to this fuel. It doesn't cause a lot of pollutants, so you can use it in things like lamps, you can use it in things like furnaces, stoves, etc. And so most things are very, very, very old fashioned, so to speak, in the lesser organized, lesser maintained parts of the hive. It's almost old timey. And as of course, where you live, you'll find a beautiful array of colors. Your, your clothing will be rich. You'll find reds and blues and yellows, just like you would here, even though there really aren't a lot of things to make those colors from your world, they're imported. So you have uh, an active commerce and you're right about to see everybody going back to work. People are very excited. It's gonna be an influx of money. And um, that's kind of our starting, that's kind of our starting base. You guys are, you're super cops in that world. Do you have any questions about that? So far. Okay, well, so far, yeah. that's the setting. You know who you are, and you're in the very tippy top tier, serving a very few number of people, and uh, a very small number of people, very few. And uh, so, this is at the start of the festival. It's going to be right before preparations are in order. Okay. Your captain is probably going to loan you out to a different precinct because they're going to need help. <laughs> So, without getting into it too much, because there will be some decision making, you guys get to have a part in. That's What's where the we weather are. like? The weather. Okay. So, when we get to this part of the season, we start to see rain. Often, you'll see that there's a light snow if you're on the surface, but most of the time, you don't see the sky, so it doesn't really come up too much. But most of the year, you may have a dusting of snow here and there. Most of the water is locked in the ice and it doesn't get warm enough most of the year for that to shake off. And so cloud coverage is at a minimum most of the year. In your effectively spring months though, you do see some rain and it's because things are warming, clouds are forming and you're seeing drizzling a lot of the year. Okay, but right now it's kind of like icy and dusty. It's kind of dusty, but it's mostly clear. You're seeing you're seeing sprinkles, and as the, the warmer months go on, you're going to see more rain. Until right at kind of the apex of what we could think of as summer, you're going to see heavy rains. Okay, so it's springtime? Yes, you're in springtime. So for us, for clarification, the bulk of the export is the raw crops themselves in the lube there's no real defined processing right do we have on this world like a processing plant or a processing like area that gets the lube out or is it just like a squeeze and a go situation that is an excellent excellent question so we have or here for our imports primarily it's bundle and go <laughs> we don't even on our hive world <laughs> We don't even. Cricket, I need lore. We don't even extract uh, for our exports. Our extraction is done by hand. There used to be facilities that were made to automate the process of extraction, but but those kind of stopped working and. There isn't proof it wasn't sabotage. There isn't proof that it wasn't sabotage that they stopped working. But it's all done by hand, which means a manner of, how long did the session go? Eight to 10 sessions. 
but uh, it, there's not a lot uh, of actual automation to it. You're looking at rollers, you're looking at at tenderizing hammers. Well, the sessions will normally be three hours, but we really wanted to establish our character creation. And so now that that's done, we'll set up a, a pretty regular two hour mark on, on our sessions. But uh, so a lot of rollers, a lot of pressing, a lot of a lot of filtration and it's done by hand and it keeps people busy even after the harvest season for a little bit but you do have massive reserves within the hive there isn't a you know there's not a shortage of the oil nobody's ever thought but we'll run out it's not a pressing issue but that's a that is that's important. It's not automated. Uh, any other questions about the world? I'll we'll probably have like 17 once this is over. <laughs> I'm ready. I got it. It's, it's concrete to me. I can see it. You can... Post extra questions in oh, the yeah. 40k as you have them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll um, we'll just keep it going. And um, if you guys ever do miss a session, we're gonna be recording them, so you'll just be able to like pop in and you know pick up where you left off or something. And the nice thing is, again, with a two-hour general time, a lot of these sessions, people like to goof off and BS. I would say, because we are going to try and really lock that window in, meet beforehand in BS, hang afterward in BS, but we'll, we're going to try and keep things moving during the actual window, just because a lot of people don't have all day. I do, so it's not a problem for me, but I understand it's not, you know, not everyone has that kind of luxury. So, for our two-hour window, We'll uh, keep it um, keep it going here. Well, there will be distraction gun. Absolutely. No question. I'm just saying that we have... I've been a part enough of these. Uh, I've been a part of enough of these. Oh, still underwater. The, um, the ease with which tangents start up and you find that 45 minutes have passed and you've talked about nothing. Uh, that, that can happen like that. Mm. They won't. So if you aren't present, you don't get experience. If you're here for a partial, not a problem. So if something comes up at work, don't worry if you're going to be an hour late. If you showed up, you get credit for the day. At all. Ten minutes. I don't care. Ooh. Yeah, it's, uh... That's that. And uh, if if the party is moving together, it's assumed that any people who are absent will be with the party making decisions with the majority. That's kind of that. Yeah. Is there, um, is there anything else I can answer just about character development or character building? Sending you a DM right now about the, some more specific stuff to see how well sure. it would fit into the overall narrative, but... Uh, you do okay. actually have barracks. So, because you kind of signed your life over to, effectively, the state, you will be uh, housed at the local Arbides office. Yeah. Um, but if you have, like, family in the area, which... I don't think any of you actually have family here. This would be a pretty bougie place. Um, you might have family in like the next tier down, but here you're kind of, you don't really know anybody except for acquaintances you've made. Ah, players will be N NPC. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody's sitting on their thumbs for half of the year, what is the environment like for things like, you know, gambling, sports, uh, things of leisure? Uh -huh. Specifically as it relates to the higher levels, obviously. Well, the higher levels have entertainment imported. 
And that's not always the same thing. Everyone has different interests. But this does cause a problem because people do drink a lot. They do have a kind of mead that they are able to take the saccharides from the, the kelp and produce a very foul booze. And the true just abundance of this kelp means that that's what you make booze out of too. So uh, they do a lot of drinking. They do a lot of betting. There are prize fights that happen just about every tier. And usually the, the super wealthy will take part in that. But a lot of it takes takes place off of world. So they'll take they'll take interests in in vacationing elsewhere, the super wealthy. They'll they'll go here and then they'll return. And it does mean that a lot of the manors are empty so to speak of the actual super rich folk. It's a lot of the the paid staff that maintain the house or the manor. The residents. Hmm. There, uh, yeah. So fighting, drinking, and there is gambling, and it's not illegal to do any of these things, at least generally speaking. If people were found to be like, and drugs also aren't illegal, and so people do drugs. There's really not a lot to do. They, they they get into a lot of trouble because of it. A lot of them are more or less kept. Hmm. But that it's kind of what you know. You'll also be able to inquire more if you go down. I'm trying to think about like what you would know. Because you would know... You would know that. But I don't think you would know anything else, though. You're kind of separated from them right now. So, so how massive is this world? Is this, like, the only hive city? This is the only hive city on this planet. It is roughly the size of Earth. For the sake of gravity, I figured that would be the easiest... It sits roughly between Mars and Earth on its orbital. If you're looking for its actual <clears throat> its actual orbiting patterns, it's warm. It's not too cold. The shield that your hive has is not because you're worried about being attacked, although it would protect you. It's more for radiation. It doesn't have kind of atmosphere because there aren't enough gases being regularly released. It does happen and there is a thin atmosphere. You can go out and you can breathe but it's not it's kind of like very very high altitude. Gotcha. But the shield is enormous. Like it's not it's not it's not like cellophane like on the on the hive, it's like 200 miles every direction. It's huge. It's like, it's like, it's really big. So we live in a snow globe? You kind of do. Yeah. Spherical Earth, though, or planet. I'm sorry, did you just say this, or um, are we the only... Uh, colony of folks like you. existing on the planet. That's right. You see regular okay. traffic though. So there's, you especially see regular traffic. So you see large ships. So your hive and um, up where you have, you probably don't have, you do, you have some ports, but they're not the kind of ports that you're seeing the exporting happening on. That's primarily going to be the two floors beneath you. So the two layers beneath you are going to have these large docking 
sections that extend out from the hive that ships will effectively pull up to and you'll get a you'll get some some colorful folks there and it's effectively your your docks for shipping um, and they extend in every direction from the hive and it's something that you find that's where the export happens usually the lowest tier is where you actually have the different skimmers and collection vessels that are on the water and go out and actually collect the kelp and then up at the second tier you'll see some loading but a lot of it's just communication and different imports for necessary things that you don't want to transport up and down through the hive there aren't any ship like air or spacefaring ships that dock on the lowest tier hmm. they're not set up for that anyway you could probably make it work if you really tried Fair. it wouldn't be a good idea <laughs> it would be it would mess some things up Kendall we'll see you man Yeah, uh, but it's the only colony, and the reason was ease. Um, because yeah. this planet, does, it did have reefs and it did have other life, it meant that there were coal and oil deposits built up into the the surface. Um, and so after you got rid of the pesky, sentient beings, it was up for grabs. But this was really the, kind of the Olympus Mons, or the Mount Everest, effectively underwater that kind of comes up and you're set on top of it. Gave the best access. We'll see you, man. Okay. Uh, as you go That's down uh... into the, uh, the lower levels of the tier, you'll find that where people where people are living is very different. A lot of it is the original assigned housing, the original housing that people had, a lot of it's decayed. And because the machines that were used for extraction and pumping water were so enormous, a lot of people have repurposed these machines for different things. Some of them, where they used to have reactors or where they used to have storage components, have been converted to either steam or oil burning for things like heat so you might have an old old drilling mechanism that's been more or less scrapped and somebody might live there and you might have large pumping mechanisms for when there was inevitable water pockets where the old ore extraction was taking place a lot of those same pipes might have been repurposed for moving water for steam or might just be the best way to get to an otherwise crushed part of the city because the piping won't fail but the city walls may have around it and so it might be that there's very limited access going between one section of the lowest level and another this kind of terrible living condition can be seen all over the lowest tier and in some places it does extend up into the second tier but not everywhere RS. I think you cut off there. Oh, oh go ahead. Hmm? I was it's just saying. Terrace. Like, it's terrace, Taurus, oh. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I thought you said as far as. Oh, no, no, no. My bad. No, no. Um. So, as as our bites, uh, are we. Are we doing a lot of like traversing between the tiers usually? Like, do we get swapped around sometimes to other precincts and stuff? Not normally. No. Normally, you've had a pretty cush job. Frankly, you collect a paycheck. Oh, and I should say, uh, you can add a hundred thrown gelt to each of your paychecks. Um, so, whatever you had, you're also going to be getting paid a hundred thrown gelt on top of that. For the monthly income? That's right. Okay. Which is session based. Nice. I'll have 170. Oh, yeah. 
you're you kind of have the the choice job. Alternatively, yeah. if you're curious what that would look like, you might miss a paycheck or two if you're on the lowest tier. Yeah, it said 70 on the application, but we'll get you what we get you. You're lucky it's income. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, um, you can think, um, a lot of the, a lot of the machines that were used were made of different things. You do see that for the sake of convenience, a lot of the ores that were extracted locally were used for the piping and things like that. So it was kind of what you had. Things like brass will sometimes be intertwined with steel and where people have been able to, they've made patchwork fixes. So if there was a hole or a tear in something, they'll just put a piece of metal up and bolt it in and it leaks a little, but it doesn't leak a lot. So that's what they have. And as the water rolls in, you can bet it's not airtight. So you do see some light flooding on the lower levels. Yeah. Is there anything else that immediately comes to mind? Uh, hit location and armor. I didn't really fill that out. Uh, and it won't matter. We're okay. not going to bother with that. That's okay. That's one of the things that really slows the game down. We are yeah. going to basically roll to see if you hit, and you roll like a damage if it did, and they take that damage generally. People have hit points and then reasonable conclusions for what it meant if only an arm was exposed. Did you hit? Okay. You did. Was only their arm showing? Sucks to not have an arm anymore. Like that's that's that. Yeah. We're gonna we're gotcha. gonna really try and modify the mundane, just dry stuff that only really gets in the way. Combat in this game can take hours, and we wanna pull that down to minutes. Yeah. Hmm. Um did we need to do anything with insanity and corruption, or is that something that will come along later on? It'll come up if it comes up. The thing okay. about the 40k world is that you... Yeah, it's a scary place. It's a terrible place. It's the... It's the world I would want to live in the least. Of all the fantasy, of all the sci-fi worlds, it's the one I would pick last. It's very scary. And so those don't come up yet. Uh, there was a chance that you guys may have to roll mutation tables because if you're on the lower levels... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Let's see what we would have got anyway. Huh? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> go for it. You can just see what you would have got because uh, if you're curious, you're going to see it on some of the folk if you have to go down there. Ooh, but um, Is it a normie D100? Yep. We can go to our table. 26. Oh. Okay, so we have 239 for our table. 239, and let's see. Um, where, where, where are we? Here we go. So you said it was 26? 26, yeah, 26. Okay, Morbid. The character finds it hard to concentrate as his mind is filled with a macabre of visions and tortured, gloom-filled trains of thought. The character's intelligence is reduced by 1d10. Oh my god. <laughs> so, you know, mm -hmm. you can also bet that's going mm -hmm. to multiply how quickly you have insanity. Because that's going to happen if you're already brain-busted, so... Well, I'm so glad we are high-born, flouncy children, mm -hmm. because that role was an eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Wow. Well, and, and remember, in this world, golf rules. So it's one is very good, 
if you did a if you had a, a 100 it's not good it's really bad but one not bad not bad yeah that's that's where we're at though um is that is that all you guys had are we are we just about at the end of that okay well i hope that it wasn't too boring to get through this and i hope that next session is um not at all i'm glad we have a lot we have a lot to do there's a lot to do and uh like i said i want to try and keep it to eight ten sessions total so this was one and uh we'll see how things go i'm excited i have done this several times and some of you guys have done it with me so i hope that you know i hope that um if you have any feedback for me let me know but i i mean i am a little experienced should be fun should be fun it'll be more than fun tonight oh. i start my theme song God. <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait oh uh. It'll okay. be good. I actually sent mm. what kind of instrument would like personify this world so I can like build around like a certain instrument. I think it would have to be a brass instrument of some kind. So brass, okay. for this one has pipes. Yeah, so it would be like a pipe of some a kind. Tuba. Bagpipes? Oh. No. Oh, no. God. Oh. Because so. I'm a master at that, you know. Sure, yeah, definitely. Well, and I think that it would have to be uh, something pipe related because again you do have a lot of pipes especially as you go down a lot of the pumping from because when you and if you guys have ever seen i researched a lot of it when i was writing this story when you look at industrial drilling a lot of it is done with some kind of a pressurized instrument or it's some kind of a, a drill and they pipe water down and they make a slurry and they make it easier for the drill to get through and they also have a series of, of pipes that are constantly extracting the slurry. So it's it's water down, water up. And uh, water down, slurry up. And I would imagine that that wouldn't get a lot better if you're looking for actual resources that are combustible. Because you wouldn't want to use a kind of a heated laser or something to, to cut with. You'd want an actual drill. And of course, in the golden age of humanity, they would know that. So they used some more traditional, as we would see them, mining techniques for that. Uh, so, but yeah, a lot of pipes. And of course, with the kelp, it's very, very fibrous stocks. If you guys go out to the edge, which you, there's not a lot of reason to do, but if you were to do that, especially when the ice is thinner, you would see that there are kelp pods kind of bunched up against the ice that you can see through and their stalks go down hundreds of meters hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meters to be able to support a structure that large it's very very fibrous stock this goes down into the black there are underwater just filtration geysers, just like the hot sediment that you see near the bottom of our ocean. Just these big columns, the smokestacks, that kind of a thing. They just kind of put out a mix of primordial ooze. That there are things that live down there, but it doesn't come up for you. I mean, I guess if you guys all decide to be marine biologists, I guess it could. But as it happens, <laughs> as things happen I right now... I want to be a marine biologist! As it happens oh, now, oh, there's not a lot that you oh. know or care about. That. No, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't seem super appealing. Personally, I, if it's me, I'm just like, nah. <laughs> I don't need that. I don't need it. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's your world. And then we kind of, so we know who you are, we know where you are, and uh, you know what you are. I guess why we can find out what are. you do. Yeah, why you are. We're going to find out in that in uh, episode one why? of the actual session. This is this is one, but it's... it's Maybe kind. we should leave this world and, and find a better one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like um, humanity's done that once yeah. or twice before in this world. They did. Yeah. They, they just did. fuck off. We're like, yeah, we don't want to be our bitees anymore. <laughs> Take our bitey paychecks in Canada be like, we save it up for a couple months. Yeah, 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 we just, just, just all... <laughs> work your beat. Work your beat for like four years. You guys, you know, whatever. You know, you just, uh, it's fine. Sound constitution. I'm telling you guys. Sure. Just go on tour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go back to a uh, base tour to the to the Terran system. Float around <laughs> there until you get shot down. Because why are you there? But yeah, no, it sounds good. Base sounds busking. Good. Yeah. Go to a feral world and just see what happens. Just see what happens. Just see what happens. <laughs> that tells Makes me you know what feral worlds are. Yeah, cause uh, <laughs> no. Makes me think of the uh, the uh, the planes that fly over unexplored. Um, Islands and then they just have like arrows poking through the mm -hmm. bottom of them just mm -hmm. constantly. Yeah. Yeah, and then of course things that fly in the air with the planes. Oh, the yeah. feral worlds are terrible. I can only imagine. But literally. Uh so that I think that is that. And um I'm gonna move the stream over to the actual the name of the hive city is it's beautiful. Again, I think we decided it was Gaelic, I think is the origin. Mm -hmm. um, Night land, really, really mm -hmm. nice. It's um, uh, it is C three three dash four one two. It has a beautiful ring to it, C thirty three dash four one two, and it's it's, it's beautiful. Um, Rolls almost sing songy, really. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm gonna move the stream over to the studio. So, part of the stream where we remind everybody to What's hit that? like. And subscribe and punch that notification bell. I am never saying that as long as I live. So thank you for that. That's really nice. It's a call to call to action, baby. Is that what that is? Ooh, yeah. It's not my bag. But I will say <laughs> that uh, if anybody did actually watch this, and I can't believe anybody would, the, um, thank you. And we'll also be doing this every week. And so whatever. Uh, to the rest of everybody else joining us, thank you so much for popping in. And hey, what's up? How you doing? Uh, hey, what's up? And uh, I hope this was not too boring. Like I said, I'll be awake next time. So that'll be fun. I had an alarm to go off. And so this is just groggy, low energy, just eh. But um, it was wonderful. Yeah, really, really nice. But it, was, it should truly. be good. I'm very excited. I've been sitting on a lot of this story for about a year. And you can ask Sarah, I'm always like, are you sure that, like, I can't just tell you all about it? And, like, you know, <laughs> you don't have any surprises when we play it? And she's like, no. No. But now, 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 though, now we're going to do it. Mm. So, I'm excited. Mm. This was probably the least exciting episode, I hope. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much.